anything that you see to your father chochote ambacho nakiona kwa baba yako speak it before him who gave him kitamke mbele za Mungu ambaye alimpa you see i i am one among the people who loves doing things in a, in an easy way unaona mimi ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao wanapenda kufanya vitu kwa namna rahisi sana so whenever i see an opportunity in the spirit kwa mahali popote na muda wote ninapoiona fursa katika ulimwengu wa roho to do something easily kufanya kitu kwa urahisi i take it nina kichukua when i read scripture ninaposoma andiko i come and look for that scripture upon the life of my father ninakuja na naangalia lile andiko katika maisha ya baba yangu and then i put a demand alafu naweka uhitaji for that which i am seeing in him kwa kile ambacho nakiona ndani yake this is a shortcut hii ndio njia ya fupi kabisa when you acknowledge your father before god unapomtambua na kumzungumza baba yako mbele za Mungu it is a pleasant speech before him ni hotuba iliyo njema mbele zake haleluya amen now inuko inuko kwa miguu yako let's do it now with understanding ngoja tufanye hivyo kwa kuelewa na ufahamu uh-huh. tufanye tukiwa tuna ufahamu na tunajua tunachokifanya haleluya you know me kono video sema bwana yesu bwana yesu how you have blessed my father vile umembariki baba yangu how you have made him well vile ambavyo vile ulivyomfanya tajiri vile umemfanya tajiri vile ulivyoongeza mafuta na neema juu yake i glorify your name for him ninakutukuza jina lako kwa ajili yake i glorify your name for him ninalitukuza jina lako kwa ajili yake i magnify your name for him ninalitukuza jina lako kwa ajili yake how you have lifted him vile umemuinua from nothing into something special kutoka si kitu mpaka katika kitu cha pekee jinsi ulivyomtangaza ulimwenguni kote jinsi ulivyomtangaza ulimwenguni kote jinsi ulivyompa kibali na neema jinsi ulivyompa kibali na neema jinsi ulivyompa nguvu na mamlaka jinsi ulivyompa nguvu na mamlaka jinsi ulivyompa mamlaka hata kwa malaika Inakutukuza bwana Yesu. Inakutukuza bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Amen. Pige bwana Yesu makofi. So, I pray that you don't forget this. Kwa ninaomba kwamba usiwezi kusahau jambo hili. I pray that you don't forget this. Ninaomba usisahau kitu hiki. When you are at home, unapokuwa nyumbani, at your job place, sehemu yako ya kazi in your business katika biashara yako do what solomon did fanya kile sulemani alifanya it pleases god inampendeza mungu haleluya amen ina mikono yako juu ina mikono yako juu sema roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu mimi ni mwanadamu mimi ni mwanadamu lakini umenipa uwezo wa kufanyika roho lakini umenipa uwezo wa Maisha yangu yamesongwa sana. Maisha yangu yamesongwa sana. Sitasujudu mbele ya matatizo yangu. Sitasujudu mbele ya matatizo yangu. Sitasujudu mbele ya changamoto za maisha yangu. Sitasujudu mbele ya changamoto za maisha yangu. Sitasujudu mbele ya magonjwa. Sitasujudu mbele ya magonjwa. Sitasujudu mbele ya kupungukiwa. Sitasujudu mbele ya kupungukiwa. Ninajua uko na mimi. 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 Nijapopita katika bonde la uvuli wa mauti. Nijapopita katika bonde la uvuli wa mauti. Baba sitaogopa mabaya. Baba sitaogopa mabaya. Maana ninajua upa moja nami. Maana ninajua upa moja nami. Mwana wa Mungu tunavyofanya hivi ndivyo tunatua mizigo. You see, yes. unaweza ukaja kanisani lakini kuna vitu bado umevinamia. Yes kwamba ah, ninaumwa ninasikia maumivu nina uchungu nina nini we shall not bow hatutasujudu hatutashuk not today yes. Mwana Mungu anikwambie kuna maombi unaomba Mungu afanye na kuna maombi una 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 unatengeneza una mazingira kwa mamlaka aliyokupa Mungu Magonjwa ni nini shida ni nini pango akodi ni nini what, what are all these things they nothing we will not bow before hatutasujudu hata siku moja Pastor Benny Hinn siku moja akasema Faith does not deny fact. Kwamba una imani haimaanishi kitu kipo. Kipo 
lakini tunaamini kwamba tutavuka kwa jina la Yesu. Nino mkono wako kumi juu. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Sita sujudu mbele ya magonjwa. Sita sujudu mbele ya magonjwa. Sita sujudu mbele ya uchungu. Sita sujudu mbele ya uchungu. Mbele ya mahangaiko na tabu. Mbele ya mahangaiko na tabu. Mbele ya maumivu kwa jina la Yesu. Mbele ya maumivu kwa jina la Yesu. E nafsi yangu. E nafsi yangu. E roho yangu. E roho yangu. Hauto sujudu kwa jina la Yesu. Hauto sujudu kwa jina la Yesu. Mbele ya kitu kingine. Mbele ya kitu kingine. Ambacho kinajinua. Ambacho kinajinua. Hauta sujudu sujudu kwa jina la Yesu. Hautasujudu kwa jina la Yesu. E nafsi yangu. E nafsi yangu. E akili yangu. E akili yangu. E moyo wangu. E moyo wangu. E roho yangu. E roho yangu. Hautosujudu. Hautosujudu. Mbele ya kitu kingine. Mbele ya kitu kingine. Ambacho sio Yesu Kristo. Ambacho sio Yesu Kristo. Ambacho sio Jehova Mungu. Ambacho sio Jehova Mungu. Ambacho sio Jehova Mungu. Ambacho sio Jehova Mungu. Ewe sanamu. Ewe sanamu. Unaenuka mbele yangu. Unaenuka mbele yangu. Kama magonjwa kama shida kama, shida, kama, tabu, kama tabu kama matatizo kama, matatizo, kama mizigo, kama mizigo kwa, jina la Yesu, kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu sito sujudu mbele yako sita sujudu mbele yako nina Mungu mmoja nina Mungu mmoja naye ni Yesu Kristo naye ni roho wa kweli naye ni alfa omega naye ni Mungu mwenye nguvu Mungu ajuae yote. Mungu ajuae yote. Mungu ajuae yote. Mungu yote. Mungu yote. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Nitakuabudu wewe Bwana. Nitakuabudu wewe. Nitasujudu mbele zako. Nitakuinua wewe. Nitakuinua wewe. Nitakusifu wewe. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For one minute begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to declare, begin to declare now. Anza kutamka, anza kutamka, anza kutamka. Viewers all over the world, we shall not bow to diseases, we shall not bow to our challenges, we shall not bow to our hardship, the pain, we shall not bow before you. Whatever you're watching me from, begin to pray this prayer now. I will not bow. I will not bow. I will not bow. I will not bow. Sito sujudu. Sito piga magoti. Sito inamia. Kitu chochote kina chenyinua mbele angu. Iwe ni magonjwa. Iwe ni tabu. Shida nilizo ziacha nyumbani. Sito zisujudia. Sito inama. Sito zipigia magoti. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ile biashara ino yumba yumba. Huto pigia magoti, huto suyudia. Sali kopana masoto. Ni wewe sasa. This is a prayer of faith. This is a prayer of faith. Uh, do you believe? Do you have faith? I will not bow. 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 Never shall I bow. Before diseases. Before diseases. Before diseases, before diseases, before pains, before challenges, before finances that are falling, I will not bow. I will not bow. I will not bow. Are you? Are you declaring? Are you declaring? I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Begin to declare now. Begin to declare now. Engage the prophetic and begin to declare. Begin to prophesy. I will not bow before you diseases. I will not bow before you pains. I will not bow before you stagnation. I will not bow before you backwardness. I will not bow. 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 Uh, you are not prophesying, you are not declaring remember we are not at the message of God when we are praying a prayer of faith it's you now engaging that which is inside you when we are praying a prayer of faith God is not involved it's the authority within you that you command things paleko zato shatala dia meraskova akradia te for one more second one more second, one more second I will not bow. I will not bow. 
Sito sujudu mbele ya matatizo yangu. Sito sujudu mbele ya kukwama, mbele ya kurudishwa nyuma. Sito sujudu. Sito sujudu kwenye changamoto za kiuchumi. I will no power, I will no power, I will no power. For I am serving the living God. I am serving the powerful God. Leko para bakotaya. Hey, shadele huva. Shadele huva. Mesos kabila atesh. Ila kopani na mapere di aparos. Bakre di to papa pata. I will no power, I will no power. I will no power, I will no power. Begin to declare, begin to declare, begin to declare. Begin to declare, begin to declare now. Declare now, declare now. Viewers all over the world, declare right now. You shall no power. Before your challenges, before your setback, whenever a setback arises, you shall no power. Satele moko pada baba pada bali. Ila kosta dada baya. Leko papa paya. I will no bow before the lions in my life. Sipo sujudu mbele ya simba wa maishangu. I will no bow. I will no bow. I will no bow. Before any other cause. Before anything that arises like an idol. Like a god before me. I will no bow. Oh, I will no bow. I will no bow. Sali Kopa. One more second, one more second, one more second. Prophesy. Begin to command yourself to respond to the anointing that you carry. I shall not bow. I will not bow before you. Liangalia Machoni. Face it. Approach it with authority. I will no power, we no power, we no power. I will no power, we no power. Keleko, Salila, Ebela Kupanila Pandeliko Pa. I will no power, I will no power. Kutoko and Akazi Kukusi Mama Meleamu, Sito Sujudu, Makonjo Yakinuka Meleamu. Sito sujudu In the mighty name of Jesus Ino mkono kuju You see Unaona Biblia nasema you cannot serve two gods Two masters Biblia nasema wezo katumikia mabuana wawili When Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego Wakati Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego Before they worshipped God Kabla hawaja mabudu mungu Before God did something Kabla mungu wajafanya kitu They were supposed to bow Walikuwa natakiwa sujudu Before some other gods Kwa miungu mingine But they did not bow before gods before them Lakini hawaku sujudu juu ya miungu ilio kwa mbele yao And they were thrown into fire Na walikuwa walitupwa katika tundu la tanulu la moto The fire did not touch them Moto hakuwa gusa And Daniel Na Daniel He refused to bow Alikataa kusujudu before the statue of Nebuchadnezzar. Mbele ya ile sanamu ya Nebuchadnezzar. He did not pray a prayer. Hakuomba ombi. When he was thrown into the den of lions. Wakati alipotupa katika tundu la simba. The God that he worshipped showed up. Mungu ambaye alimwabudu akadhirika. And the lions touched him not. Na simba hawakumgusa. Sema in the name of Jesus. Machina la Yesu. I will not pray. I will, I will worship one God. That is Jesus the Master. That is the Spirit of Truth. That is the King of Kings. Now, Sita Ilawe Watajaribu kuinuka Sita Watajinua na wengine Mungu mwingine Ilawe Wewe ambayo ulikuja kunipa wewe na siyo vitu 
I will not worship any other God. Wewe ambao umekuja kunipa eternal life, uzima wa milele. Karitona makapade devosha. Begin to glorify him, begin to glorify him now. Undo wakati unapaza sauti yako juu na kumwambia Bwana I shall not bow before any other god. But I will worship you. I will ascend to Zion and worship you. Eh hey, shade. Mwambie Bwana ninakuabudu wewe. Ninakuinua wewe Bwana Yesu. Maana hakuna mwenye nguvu kama wewe. Sante. Inua mikono yako juu fungua kinywa chako mbele za Bwana. Hila we. Esta kama. Inua mikono yako juu mwabudu Bwana. Sita.
Inome kuna kuchu kabisa. Inome kuna kuchu. Wana kwa budu. Ewe Yesu. Wana kwa budu. Wana kwa budu. We began our series on my father's angels. I want us to pray tonight. Before we begin anything new. Can we fix that? I want us to pray tonight. Take, uh, sit down one minute. Just one. I want us to pray. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. You did not come here for show off. We are not friends. I said look at your neighbor and say neighbor. We are not friends. Sisi sio marafiki. I am not your auntie. Mimi sio shangazi yako. I am not your uncle. Wala mimi sio mjomba wako. I came for my father's business. Nimekuja kwa ajili ya biashara ya babangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I I want you right now not to be a friend of anybody. Ninataka sasa hivi usiwe rafiki ya mtu yoyote. The person sitting next to you is a stranger to you. Mtu ambaye amekaa pembeni yako ni mtu ambaye hamjuani. That person does not understand how deep God wants you to go. Huyo mtu aelewi ni kwa kina kiasi gani Mungu anataka uende. That person doesn't understand that last night you are crying alone in your bedroom. Huyo mtu haelewi kwamba usiku wa jana ulikuwa unalia peke yako kwenye chumba chako. Does not understand that you are going through situations in life. Hajui kwamba unapitia hali tofauti tofauti maishani. I don't want you to start thinking about the person sitting next to you right now. Kwa mimi sitaki uanze kuwaza juu ya mtu ambaye anakaa pembeni yako sasa hivi. But I want you to put your total focus on what the Lord is saying. Lakini nataka uweke umakini wako katika kile Bwana anachosema. Is this church getting what I'm saying? Are you getting me? Unanielewa? Now, mwangalie jirani yako, mwambie tonight I need space. Usiku leo ninahitaji nafasi. Personal space. Nafasi binafsi.
Alléluia. Alléluia. So we are going to pray. Kwa hiyo tunakwenda kuomba. Yesterday I was in prayer in the afternoon. Jana nilikuwa katika maombi mchana. The spirit of the Lord was speaking to me audibly. Na roho wa Mungu alikuwa anaongea na mimi kwa sauti. And he says this generation needs to pray. Akasema kizazi hiki kinahitaji kuomba. Because the time that is remaining. Maana muda ambao umebaki. God is bringing a a wave of the mantle of prayer back. Mungu analeta wimbi la vazi la maombi tena. Because many people they, Man, they don't pray. Kwa sababu watu wengi hawaombi. So when I was praying, kwa nilivyokuwa ninaomba, I was just praying for one thing. Nilikuwa ninaomba kwa kitu kimoja. That God may give us mantles of prayer. Strength kwa Mungu in prayer. Mungu akatupe nguvu katika maombi. Men ought to pray imewapasa watu kumwomba Mungu according to the bible sawa sawa na biblia we are supposed to pray tunapaswa kuomba we can teach revelations tunaweza kufundisha mafunuo we can teach you everything about the bible tunaweza kufundisha kila kitu kuhusu biblia but if are, it's not backed with prayer lakini kama nyuma yake hakuna nguvu ya maombi tunapoteza muda because what changes situations is prayer maana kinachobadilisha hali ni maombi after acquiring knowledge baada ya kupokea uh, maarifa you pray towards the knowledge you have acquired unaomba kwa lile yale maarifa ambayo umekwisha kuyapata so i want us to rise up now kwa ninataka tuinuke sahi. And I want us to begin to pray. Na ninataka tuanze kuomba. I told you that the person sitting next to you does not really care about you. Nimekwambia aliyekaa pembeni yako hajali kuhusu wewe. So don't show any sort of caring right now. Kwa usionyeshe kujali kwa aina yoyote sahi. Do it later after we are done with church. Fanya baadaye baada ya kumalizana na kanisa. As long as I am in this church. Lakini vile ambavyo mimi niko kwenye ile kanisa. Your focus should be on me and me alone. Umakini wako unatakiwa kuje kwangu mimi na mimi peke yangu. And the altar says that we pray. Na madhabahu imetaka tuombe. So I want people to pray. Kwa ninataka watu waombe. Can you pray? Unaweza kuomba. Can you Pray. Kanisa unaweza kuomba. We are in a very sensitive month. Tupo katika mwezi ambao ni sensitive sana. If you can pray in the spirit kama unaweza kuomba katika roho according to the season sawa sawa na majira tuliopo the lord said pray bwana anasema omba pray omba he demands prayers from us anataka maombi kutoka kwetu press deeper omba kwa kina press deeper ngangania kwa kina the things that this altar is teaching us vitu ambavyo madhabahu hii inatufundisha they are too deep for most of you ni vya kina sana kwa wengi wenu pray omba enlarge your vessel kitanue chombo chako Enlarge your spiritual vessel. Kitanue chombo chako cha kiroho. To take in that which God is preparing for us. Kuchukua kwa ndani kile ambacho Mungu anatuangalia. Ale consta fela dila brada. Spirit of God, Malina Skovala Brede. Paragalia Skovalia. Arose Caventa ila grados. Mila compra. Sila kadola brede intalade My spirit is longing O God Tila compra alekos kavaladia You are not praying can you pray Zaate ziva press valado across vele inkra tala umbre elaparados minta kabaya 
Belush Vala Akredi Lamante. My spirit is longing for thee. All my life I've been waiting for this moment that you may impart me with grace, with the angelic Oga Zilakante, Buras Kavala Akros, Malakompra Alahadili Brante. Empower my spirit, O God. Empower my spirit. For your encounters need the empowerment of my spirit. For your visitation needs my spirit to be full. I need more strength in my spirit, O God. Palas kovante ligompra ipate vela umbra alabarodos. Press deeper. Pray. Men ought to pray. Angels of God ought to pray. Fala kadala bronta is kavala impra dela manto sa ala kumbre ele barosh valadia. You are in a spiritual environment. You are in one of the most spiritual environments in this land of Tanzania. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Usiwa ze chochote, just pray. Fly in the Holy Ghost. Marosh Valade. Paros Vila Akadila Brata. Shala barakate, bala kompras kavala prediga. Eh, melush aroko patakate. Let my spirit be ready to encounter you, Jesus. Let my spirit be ready to encounter things from thee. I am preparing my spirit to have an encounter, O God. Shalabra. Malekompra atelebaya celebre de bekete Unanda roho yako Unanda nafsi yako Kwa jili ya kukutana kiungu na buwana Prepare your vessel for your God Prepare your vessel for an encounter Malekopa We are not just a church We are a supernatural church We believe in the supernatural encounters we are not just a church. We are a revelation. Lina Masute. My father, my father. Elisha said, if Elijah told Elisha, if you shall see, the key word is to see, to encounter. My son, I want you to pray. Daughter, I want you to pray. The supernatural world is real. Parosketeva. Three more minutes. Three more minutes of prayer. Pray. Woo, Sheleba. Sikom Prataya. Leproska Valatinava. Hey. Korabasia. La cumbre escapa. Me ro 
Maroko, Maroko ba, Aprato, Aprato, Azuba, Adele Barakoto.
As angels gather before the Lord. As angels are gathering and assembling before the Lord. Tonight, we enter together with them. I said we enter together with them into the holy of holies desire to enter into the holy of holies azuva alahuda inkrota eruve belush marokopaya akotoka patela intrete pelosh my spirit is ready, Oka. Royangu iko tayari, eh, Mungu. Aluka payo, enkro barakadila mons, arokopeteteva, 
Aizo Pareno Shato Ila Barakumbes Kabele Ida Eh The Lord said men ought to pray. Yesterday he said men ought to pray. Jana alisema watu imewapasa kuomba. Talakusha akle hibaros. My father, my lord, my God. Baba yangu mungu wangu baba. I am ready for an encounter. Niko tayari kukutana kiumba. That shall change my entire life. Ambo itabadirisha maisha yangu yote. All we need is one encounter. Unachohitaji ni kukutana kiungu mara moja tu. Moses encountered God. Musa alikutana kiungu na Mungu. His life changed. Maisha yake yakabadilika. Barakatila bomshka ba. Uska vele krediga parakuwe. Pray. Omba. Pray, Omba. Angels of God, pray. Angels of God, Omba. Adele bombs kava prediga. Skova ankle ibarosh. Una mwambia buana ni na kuandalia mazingira kugutana na we. As you are praying, you are telling God. Omba kimaambia mungu. I am ready to encounter you, Jesus. Ni kote ali kugutana na we wa Yesu. 2022. The appointed year of my encounter. Mwaka uliochaguliwa kwa ajili yangu kukutana na Mungu. La kapato kopaya. Mila compras kopate le barus. Hey! Shala baraka tele bosh. Like the way your father encountered God in 2019, December. Can you pray? Kama vile baba yako alivyokutana kiungu na Mungu katika 2019 kuwa na shauku hiyo naomba. Kole mere kopata ya encounters with God watu wote ambao wanakuinspire wameshawahi kukutana kiungu na Mungu there is a secret in encounters kuna siri katika kukutana kiungu it does not just happen haitokei tu hivi people don't, don't just become great overnight watu tu hawai wakuu kwa usiku mmoja they have a secret wanayo siri they have encounters the angelic wamekutana na mtembeo wa kimalaika they have encountered something spiritual wamekutana na kitu cha kiroho if you are looking for a shortcut you have found it kama unatafuta njia fupi umeipata an encounter is a shortcut kukutana kiungu ni njia fupi to greatness kuendea kwenye ukuu that which will take you 20 years kila ambacho kingekuchukua miaka 20 it will take you two days kitakuchukua siku mbili a 
after you encounter baada ya kukutana kiungu na Mungu pray omba one more minute pray omba dakika moja zaidi tell god all i need is an encounter mwambie Mungu kile ninachokihitaji tu ni encounter all we need is an encounter all I've been waiting for is an encounter. Nimekuwa nikisubiria kukutana kiungu na Mungu. If men will pray kama watu wangeomba if women will pray kama wanawake wataomba if there is a person that is praying kama kuna mtu ambaye anaomba there is a god that is answering kuna mungu ambaye anasikia you are not praying in vain hauombi bure hauombi bure trust me on that you are not praying in vain you need to be to begin trusting in your prayers unahitaji kwa kwanza kuamini katika maombi yako you need to put more faith in your prayers unatakiwa kuweka imani kuu zaidi katika maombi yako you pray like a warrior tunaomba kama wanajeshi you don't pray like you're trying to pray usiombe kama unajaribu kuomba mama usishangae mtu it is a moment of prayer ni wakati wa maombi the person you are looking at mtu ambaye unamwangalia and you are wondering why are they like this na una unashangaa kwa nini wako kama hivi they are calling for an encounter from the lord wanaita kukutana kiungu kwa kutoka kwa bwana they desire to meet god wanashauku kukutana na mungu that is why you are seeing them that the way they are ndio maana unawaona kama walivyo it is not them it is the desire sio wao ni ile shauku When you have a desire unapokuwa na shauku you will encounter God lazima ukutane na Mungu When you carry the desire ukiwa umebeba shauku you shall pray utaomba and as a result of prayer na kama matokeo ya maombi you shall encounter lazima ukutane kiungu It begins with a desire. Inaanza na shauku that pushes you into prayer. Ambayo inakusukuma katika maombi. Pushes you into sacrifice. Inakusukuma katika kujidhabihu. Pushes you into a long season of yielding in the Lord. Inakupelekea katika kipindi kirefu sana sana cha kumtafuta Mungu. And as a result, na kama matokeo, as a reward, kama thawabu, you encounter the Lord. Unakutana na Bwana. It is real. Ni harisi. It may not sound real. Inaweza isiisikike kama harisi, but it is very real. Lakini ni harisi sana. We are not alone in this world. Hatuko peke yetu hapa duniani. We are not alone in this world. Hatuko peke yetu hapa ulimwenguni. Always remember that. Siku zote kumbuka hilo. We are not alone in this world. Hatuko peke yetu hapa duniani. We are not alone in this world. Hatuko peke yetu hapa duniani. We are surrounded. Tumezungukwa. We are surrounded. Tumezungukwa. We are surrounded. Tumezungukwa. And tonight God is about to do something. Na usiku wa leo Mungu anakaribia kufanya kitu. Something supernatural. Kitu cha sisijo cha kawaida cha ajabu. Something beyond the understanding of men. Kitu ambacho ni zaidi ya ufahamu wa wanadamu. We are about to encounter God. Tunakaribia kukutana kiungu na Mungu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you Holy Spirit. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. 
viewers all over the world be fully connected with us tonight because the Lord is about to do a mighty thing there is a blowing of a mighty wind that is about to hit this church it's going to take us from one realm and to a supernatural realm. Only spiritual people will understand what I'm saying. Elijah was caught up in a wind. That, that same wind. Upepo ule ule. That same wind, I, I've been waiting for that wind. Upepo ule ule, nimekuwa nikiusubiri sana upepo ule. That can take a man physically to heaven. Amaona zo kamchukua mtu kwa namna ya kimwili mpaka mbinguni. I believe that same wind can shift my spiritual life. Nina amini upepo ule ule unaweza ukabadilisha maisha angu ya kiroho. A wind carrying a man to heaven. Upepo unambeba mtu kumpeleka mbinguni. If it can do it physically, it can do it spiritually. Only the spiritual people will understand what the prophet is saying. Lift up your hands. I pray according to your faith.
seated in majesty. I feel a bubbling in my spirit. You are the reason. Mighty warrior of Israel. Mungu mwenye nguvu mkuu wa vita wa Israel. The great general. General aliyemkuu. Jemedari mkuu. Jemedali mkuu. The creator of the universe. Mumbaji wa ulimwengu. Mighty one of Israel. Mungu mwenye nguvu wa Israel. We bless you tonight. Tunakubaliki usiku wa leo. Because I know that tonight it is a spiritual night. Kwa sababu najua usiku wa leo ni usiku wa kiroho. And there are a lot of good things that you have prepared for us. Na kuna vitu vizuri vingi ulivyovianda kwa ajili yetu. Usher us into the dimensions of the spirit. Tuingize sisi katika viwango vya kiroho. Help us to believe more. Tusaidie tupate kuamini zaidi. Help us to understand more. Tusaidie kuelewa zaidi. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Something great is happening in the spirit. Kitu kikubwa kinatokea mahali hapa. I cannot explain with words. Siwezi nikakielezea kwa maneno. It's like a woman that is about to give birth. Ni kama vile mwanamke ambaye anakaribia kujifungua. It's like a woman that is about to give birth. Ni kama vile mwanamke ambaye anakaribia kujifungua. It's like a woman that is about to give birth. Ni kama vile mwanamke ambaye anakaribia kujifungua. Holy Spirit, we are ready for you. Roho Mtakatifu tuko tayari kwa ajili yako. Spirit of God, we are ready for you. Roho wa Mungu tuko tayari kwa ajili yako. Use us. Use us. Tutumie. Touch us. Tuguse. Do it for us. Fanya hivyo kwa ajili yetu. For your glory. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wako. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. You can clap your hands for the master. Unaweza kumpigia makofi bwana Yesu. You can do better. You can do better. Unaweza kufanya zaidi. I said you can clap your hands for Jesus. Nimesema unaweza kumpigia Yesu makofi. Some things cannot be explained. Vitu vingine haviwezi kuelezeka. Some things cannot be fully explained. Kuna baadhi ya vitu haviwezi kuelezeka kiukamilifu. But I'll try to explain them to you. Lakini nitajaribu kuvielezea kwako. I'll try tajaribu not to be a spirit. Sio kuwa roho. But to be a man. Lakini kuwa mwanadamu. And speak a simple language of men. Na kutamka zungumza lugha ya kawaida ya wanadamu. Perhaps Pengine you will understand. Utaelewa. Take your seat. Chukua nafasi yako. Take your seat. Make sure ushers. Akina Albino school wanaweza kusogea mbele. Ninawaonaga wote hivi. Nikisimama hapa I see. Viewers all over the world. Watazamaji ulimwenguni kote. It is a moment you can share now. Ni wakati mzuri ambapo unaweza kushare matangazo ya baadaye. Yes, you can you can share now. Unaweza ukashare wakati huu. It is a moment you can share. Ni muda ambao unaweza ukashare. Child of God. Mwana wa Mungu. Church is no longer a tradition. Kanisa sio tena utamaduni. I'm sorry if I have disappointed you by saying that. Utanisamehe kama nimekuvunja moyo kwa kusema hivyo. Church kanisa is no longer a tradition. Sio tena jambo la kitamaduni. Church kanisa has nothing to do with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Haihusiani na chochote 
Jumatatu, Jumapili, Jumanne la Messi. The Holy Ghost was so serious yesterday evening. Roma takatifu alikuwa serious sana jana jioni. When I was in prayer. Nilipokuwa katika maombi. And he spoke and he said son. Na kaongea akasema mtoto wangu. What are you praying for? Unaomba kwa ajili ya nini? And I said teach me how to pray. Nikasema nifundishe jinsi ya kuomba. And he said pray. Akasema omba for my strength. Kwa ajili ya nguvu yangu. In prayer. Katika maombi. I said I know how to pray. Sema najua jinsi ya kuomba. I, I, I am a prayer person. Mimi ni mtu wa maombi. And the spirit of the Lord said, Na roho bwana akasema, You are a prayerful person, yes. Wewe ni mwombaji sawa. But you don't know my ways of prayer. Lakini haujui njia zangu za kuomba. You can be praying. Unaweza kuwa unaomba your ways kwa njia zako. Not the ways of the Lord. Lakini sio kwa njia za bwana. And he said pray. Akasema omba. Imagine there is the spirit is telling me to pray for strength that he already has he can just give it to me. Pata picha roho ananiambia niombe kwa ajili ya nguvu ambayo tayari anayo akati anaweza kunipa. He knows I need it. Anajua anahitaji. He can just give it to me. Anaweza kunipa tu. But he still wants me to pray for it. Lakini bado anataka mimi niombe kwa ajili yake. We are in the same room. Tupo kwenye chumba kimoja. Does that make sense? Ninani amenielewa kidogo. We are in the same room. Tupo kwenye chumba kimoja. And he's telling you I want you to beg for it. Na nakwambia nataka uombe kwa ajili ya nguvu yangu. I want to see you. I want to see the desire. Nataka nione shauku. I can give it to you but I'm not going to do it. Naweza kukupa lakini sitofanye hivyo. Unless you pray. Isipokuwa maomba. You are pr- I'm he's telling me you, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm receiving direction from one that is standing in front of me and he's telling me pray for it when when he has it there, right there. Ninapokea maelekezo kutoka kwa yule ambaye amesimama mbele yangu akati ana kitu hicho anacho hapo hapo. And he's telling me pray for it. Na ananiambia omba kwa jile. But you have it. Lakini why don't you just give it to me? Kwa nini usinipe? So that I may be able to pray you in your ways. Ili kusudi niweze kuomba kwa njia zako. And he said no. Akasema hapa. You have to desire it. Inabidi uwe na shauku nayo. And for a long time I prayed and I said Lord tonight I'm not ask today I'm not asking for anything. Na nikasema kwamba Bwana leo siombi chochote. Not I'm not asking for some angelic encounter, miracles, financial breakthrough. I'm not asking for anything. Leo siombi kwa ajili ya mpenyo wa kiuchumi, kukutana kiungu na malaika. But as you have told me. Lakini vile ambavyo umeniambia. Give me that strength that you want to give it to me. Nipe hiyo nguvu ambayo unataka kunipa. Give me that mantle. Nipe hilo vazi. I want it. Nalitaka. And I began to pray. Na nikaanza kuomba. It's funny that God can have the answers of our lives. Ni ajabu kwamba Mungu anaweza kuwa na majibu ya maisha. And he knows exactly what we need. Na anajua hasa ni nini tunataka. But he still wants us to beg for it. Lakini bado anataka tuombe kwa ajili yake. That is how it is important for this generation to go back into the realms of prayer. Ndio maana ni muhimu sana kwa kizazi hiki kurudi katika ulimwengu wa maombi. Because through prayer kwa sababu kupitia maombi it shows god how much you value what is about to give you inamwonyesha mungu unathamini kiasi gani kile ambacho anakwenda kukupa ah uh, you, you didn't get that part he can give, god can give everything in, he can he can transform your life now mungu anaweza kubadilisha maisha yako sasa hivi you can see jesus right there right now physically unaweza kumuona yesu sasa hivi but he Hapo. doesn't want to it to be easy lakini hataki iwe rahisi he wants to see efforts anataka kuona juhudi of men za watu and that is what the church is lacking na hiko ndicho ambacho kanisa linakosa the church is lacking the mantles of prayer kanisa linakosa vazi la maombi somebody might say i pray mtu anaweza kusema ninaomba that is exactly what i told the holy spirit yesterday ndicho ndicho mwambia roho mtakatifu jana that i What, what are you talking about? Kama unaongea nini? You are standing in front of the pioneer. Umesimama mbele ya pioneer. Holy Ghost. Roho Mtakatifu. And he said son. Akanambia mtoto. You are doing it your ways. Unafanya kwa njia zako. Not my ways. Lakini sio njia zangu. Lift up your right hand and say Jesus. Sema Yesu. 
strengthen me in prayer. Nitie nguvu katika maombi. Give me the mantle of prayer. Unipe vazi la maombi. One minute, just one minute. Kwa dakika moja. You let me be able to pray in your ways. Niwe na uwezo wa kuomba kwa njia zako. Teach me your language of communication. Nifundishe lugha yako ya mawasiliano. Teach me your language of pressing a demand in the spirit. Nifundishe lugha yako ya kuweka uhitaji katika roho. Minister, yes, can you assist viewers all over the world? So viewers all over the world, you're not excluded from this prayer. Can you now ask the Holy Ghost to assist you to give you that mantle of prayer to strengthen you in prayer? Whatever you're watching us, make sure you're praying this prayer. Kale mo shata. Strengthen us, O God. Give us power and more strength to pray according to your ways. Teach me your language of communication in prayer. Teach me your language to communicate with you. Give me the right utterances, the right words. Let me not speak normal words. Nifundishe nipe maneno sahihi. Nifundishe njia sahihi ya kuomba sawa sawa na wewe. Teach me to pray. Viewers all over the world, make sure you're praying. Teach me your ways. Mwambie Bwana nifundishe njia zako, your ways. Teach me your ways. Nifundishe njia zako. who has access to the almighty creator when you realize there is none you, should, you will pray you will say I, I want to be the first and not not buying subscribers so there are 10,000 people following us on YouTube. So I'm watching you on YouTube. Hallelujah. So it shows how much the, how the gospel is reaching people. Like the prophecy of Kenya has 11,000 views in 9 days or in 10 days. 11,000 views. Unabii wa Kenya una watazamaji 1011. Do you know 11,000 people if we put them in, in this place? Do you know where they will reach? Unajua ni watu wangapi hao 1011 ukiweka mali hapa? And they all saw the word and the decree of the Lord. Na waliona tamko na neno la Bwana. Mimi napenda sana. When we speak thousands should listen. Ukiongea maelfu wanatakuwa kusikia. Sijasikia amen, sijasikia receive. Ah? Okay. It's fine. It, it is all right. It is fine. Now hear me. Nisikie. My desire for the people of Kenya. Shauku yangu kwa watu wa Kenya is that when we do the service uh, on the 28th of July tukifanya ibada tarehe 28 ya mwezi wa 7 in the coming week from we, friday every friday i want to be flying to nairobi kila ijumaa ninataka niwe ninakwenda nairobi so i think this is what i am trying to arrange and we are trying to arrange iki ndicho ambacho tunajaribu kukipanga that every friday morning we fly to kenya nairobi kwamba kila ijumaa asubuhi tunaruka kwenda Kenya Nairobi and then we hold our services in the evening from 4 
Alafu tunakuwa na ibada yetu jioni kuanzia saa kumi Four in the evening. Saa kumi jioni. Until whenever the spirit leads us to end maybe uh, ish Mpaka pale ambapo Roho Mungu atatuongoza kumaliza laba majira ya saa tatu And then we fly back to Dar es Salaam. Alafu turudi Dar es Salaam either that night or early morning of saturday so that i may come for sunday service in the ama usiku huo au jumamosi ili kusudi nije kwenye ibada ya jumapili every week kila wiki for the rest of wherever god leads us paka pale ambapo mungu atakapotuongoza you can clap your hands for jesus unaweza kupiga makofi yako kwa ajili ya yesu it's possible kuna mtu anajiuliza is it possible kweli very possible inawezekana sana we are not going we are not going for anything else but the gospel because of the gospel it shall be possible atwendi kwa ajili ya kitu kingine ila injili kwa sababu ya injili itawezekana imagine we are doing all that just so that people can have a, this grace tunafanya yote hayo ili kusudi watu waweze kuwa na hii neema na niamini mimi katika hili. The Nairobi Church will be massive. Kanisa la Nairobi litakuwa kubwa sana. It will be massive. Remember my words. Kumbuka maneno yangu. A prophet Nabi is not accepted in his homeland. Hapokelewi na kubaliwa katika nyumbani kwao. Are those my words? Ni maneno yangu. Who did, did any prophet prophesy that? Kuna nabii yote ametabiri hilo. It's Jesus himself that said it. Ni Yesu mwenyewe ambaye alisema. You wonder that in Nairobi in Kenya utashangaa kwamba Nairobi Kenya we shall gather thousands in a very short time. Tutakusanya maelfu ndani ya muda mfupi sana. Because they, they, they have seen grace. Maana wameiona neema from afar. Tokea mbali. I can feel their hunger. Ninaweza kuisikia njia yao. And Kenya I am fully coming. Kenya ninakuja kikamilifu. Every week I shall be visiting. We shall give you uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are working on getting a venue for a permanent venue for where we are going to book for Friday evenings. Tunatafuta ukumbi ambao tutakuwa uh, tunaofanyia booking kwa ajili ya kila Ijumaa jioni. So we shall have prophetic Friday services. Tutakuwa na ibada za kinabii za kila Ijumaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the people of Dar es Salaam I'll still be with you on Tuesday. Watu wa Dar es Salaam mtakuwa na ninyi Jumanne, Alhamisi. And Sunday we are still Na pili, tutakuwa pote. But on Friday lakini Ijumaa I'll break every issues and business that i have and anything that I'll, uh, that keeps me busy on fridays and i'm going to so my rest day will now be only monday kwa hiyo nitaacha kila kitu na kwenda kuungana nao kwa siku zangu za mapumziko nitakuwa ni jumatatu tu yeah because these are the days i'm always busy doing something else kwa sababu siku nyingine hizi zote niko busy ninafanya kitu naona sasa siku zangu ngapi kwenye wiki zimechukuliwa na injili sunday tuesday Thursday Friday So now I'm remaining with three days One for rest moja kupumzika two for business and family moja ya familia na biashara mbili two and that is now it's going to be Saturday and Ita, Wednesday itakuwa Jumamosi na Jumatano the life we have chosen ever maisha leo chagua Tante your neighbor say neighbor ngeke jira na kumwambia jirani Kenyans are blessed wa Kenya wamebarikiwa because the, the prophet is visiting them kwa sababu nabii anawatembelea haleluya kuna malaika fanyuel wamepiga makofi watu wawili ah, okay. so for those that are sons and daughters of this altar kwa wale ambao ni watoto wa madhabahu hii and you are in dar es salaam na upo dar es salaam to let you know that it is important for you to always attend mid services mid week nitumie services nitumie muda huu kukuambia kwamba ni muhimu sana wewe kuhudhuria ibada za katikati ya wiki never plan for god usipange usipange kwa ajili ya Mungu that this is a big service this is a small service kwamba hii ni ibada ndogo hii ni ibada kubwa if it was a small service i would not be around 
ingekuwa ni ibada ndogo ni single kuepo if it was a small service the guy standing next to me will not be around kama ingekuwa ni ibada ndogo huyo aliyesimama pembeni yangu asingekuepo the presence of a prophet in a place uepo wa nabii mahali popote is the presence of the voice of god ni uepo wa sauti ya mungu in your life maisha ni mwako live everything for the voice of god acha kila kitu kwa ajili ya sauti ya mungu what did i say acha kila kitu but be where god is speaking today lakini kuwa pale ambapo mungu anaongea leo It's not all about prophecy that is where your, I want your mind to toke. Haihusiani tu na unabii peke yake. I was not called to prophesy. Mimi sijaitwa kutabiri. I was called to groom. Nimeitwa kulea. Sio naeleweka. I was not I am not that cheap. Mimi sio wa bei ndogo hivyo. I am not that cheap. Kama when you want prophecy you look for prophet David Richard may God may thunder. I am not that cheap, eh? That no, Mimi si wabei ndogo yeah, kiasi. That is too cheap. Hiyo ni abei ndogo sana. I told you when my father came to Tanzania, I never told him what is God saying. Babangu alipokuja Tanzania, sikumwambia Mungu anasema nini. What is God saying? Prophesy. Kumuliza Mungu anasema nini? I'm in the presence of the oracle of God. Nipo katika uwepo wa madabahu ya Bwana. If God Kinyo wants chabwa. to speak, I don't need to beg for it. Kama Mungu anataka kuongea, sihitaji kuomba. He will speak. Sihitaji. Uh, God will speak. Mungu ataongea. Was Moses prophesying every day? Musa alikuwa anatabiri kila siku. But the, the absence of Moses. Lakini kutokuwepo kwa Musa. A curse entered in the land of Israel. Lana iliingia katika taifa la Israeli. Started worshiping a calf. Wakaanza kuabudu ndama the absence of moses kutokuepo kwa musa bibi anasema yeye yule jana leo na hata milele the ways of the lord ever changes hali ya hewa inabadilika do you know in the times of elijah they were not giving prophecies of aircrafts crashing even unajua katika nyakati za elia walikuwa hawatoi unabii juu ya ndege kuanguka but it does not mean that god cannot prophesy over the uh, a falling of an aircraft Haimaanishi kwamba Mungu hawezi kutabiri jua kuanguka kwa ndege. Kuna mtu amesha hajanielewa. In the times of Elijah, katika nyakati za Elia, God was not prophesying over World War 1, World War 2. Mungu alikuwa hatabiri juu ya vita ya kwanza ya pili. He was not prophesying over a pandemic called corona that is coming. Mungu alikuwa hatabiri juu ya ugonjwa wa corona. Because in that time and in those season those things were not there. Maana kwa nyakati zile na majira yale vitu hivyo. In the Bible God visited men so many times. Katika Biblia Mungu alitembelea watu wengi mara nyingi sana. In the dimension of angels before the coming of Jesus. Zaidi sana katika kiwango cha malaika kabla ya kuja kwa Yesu. Do you know that? Angels are found more in the Old Testament. Malaika wanapatikana zaidi katika agano la kale. Than the New Testament. Kuliko agano jipya. Why? Kwa nini? Because Jesus had not come on earth kwa sababu Yesu alikuwa hajaja duniani Men bado. did not have a revelation of the Messiah. Watu walikuwa hawana ufunuo wa Masihi. So the only thing that they knew of kwa kitu pekee walichokijua it was the messengers that God used to send to the people. Ni wajumbe ambao Mungu alikuwa anatuma kwa watu. So God God's method kwa hiyo mbinu ya Mungu of communicating to people ya kuwasiliana na watu was through two major vessels ilikuwa ni kupitia vyombo viwili a prophet nabi or an angel ama malaika hata kama upendi ndio iko hivyo haleluya haleluya so in the old times when there is an absence of a prophet the the, clo- the second plan of god was a visitation of an angel kwa katika siku za kale kukiwa hakuna nabii mbinu ambayo mungu alitumia pekee ni malaika 
kutembelewa na malaika being visited by an angel the bible says if there is a prophet among you i shall speak with him in visions and in dreams bibi anasema akiwako nabii kati yenu nitazungumza naye katika ndoto na maono si ndio kwenye aina 7 ya nani ya nani tuliongelea hilo si ndio yes now the other plan of god mpango mwingine wa mungu when there was an absence of a prophet ambapo hakuwepo nabii God used to go with plan B. Mungu alikuwa anaenda na mpango plan B. Plan B was spirits. Plan B ilikuwa ni roho. Taking the form of men. Wanachukua mfumo wa wanadamu. And they come to men. Na wanakuja kwa watu. Naomba nirudie tena spirits. Roho will take the form of men. Wangelichukua mfumo wa wanadamu. And visit the people of God. Na kutembelea watu wa Mungu. As a messenger kama mjumbe as a prophet kama nabii as a man kama mtu as an oracle kama kinywa cha bwana au madhara stranger kama mtu ambaye hajulikani kwa kitu yet lakini bado it is an angel of the lord ni malaika wa bwana so angels kwa malaika and prophets na manabii at one point kwa namna fulani they were colliding in assignments walikuwa wanagongana kwenye kazi wanazopewa But when there is a presence of a prophetic voice lakini kukiwa kuna uwepo wa sauti ya kinabii God chooses not to reveal Mungu anachagua kuto kujifunua spirits to men roho kwa watu But rather he will reveal lakini zaidi angejifunua the angel malaika to the prophet kwa nabii ujenelewa you did not understand ujenelewa ujenelewa so if there is a prophet in your midst kama kuna nabii kati yenu it's more likely for the prophet to encounter angels ni zaidi sana kwa nabii huyo kukutana kiungu na malaika than a congregation kuliko kusanyiko la watu why kwa nini because sababu if there is a prophet in your midst kama kuna nabii kati yenu the voice of the lord is present sauti ya bwana ipo visions are present maono yapo the direction of the lord is present maelekezo ya mungu yapo so now when god wants to communicate to people mungu akitaka kuwasiliana na watu he uses two methods to the prophet anatumia mbinu mbili kwa nabii the spirit of god roa mungu or the angels au malaika now somebody might ask mtu anaweza kuuliza if you have the holy spirit ikiwa na roho mtakatifu why is it that an angel still needs to be around you kwa nini bado malaika inabidi awepo na wewe when the holy spirit is there wakati roho mtakatifu yupo you see the holy spirit unaona roho mtakatifu he is not a fighting spirit sio roho ya mapambano The Holy Spirit Rome takatifu as much is the most powerful spirit vile ambavyo ndio roho yenye nguvu kuliko zote is not a spirit of fi- fighting sio roho ya kupambana is not a spirit of healing sio roho ya uponyaji though he can heal ingawa anaweza kuponya no one this part but he did not come to heal us lakini hakuja kutuponya you know that you know that do you know that je unafahamu There is no scripture in the Bible that says the spirit of God shall come and shall be a healer into your lives. Hakuna andiko katika Biblia linalosema Roho Mtakatifu atakuja na kuwa mponyaji maisha yako. You are fighter, you are defender. Kwa maana eti atakuwa mpambanaji wako. He shall give you prophecies. Kwa maana atakupa unabii. You see when the Holy Spirit was thinking about gifts and how people should operate, he designed a category called spiritual gifts. Roho mtakatifu alipoangalia vile watu ambao watatembea na kazi akatengeneza kitu kinaitwa karama za roho. That is how much you need to know that he does not want to engage in the normal affairs of men. Ndio unatakiwa kujua kwamba hataki kujihusisha na maisha ya wanadamu ya kawaida. If you want to perform miracles. Ukitaka kutenda miujiza. I have given a gift. Nimetoa karama. Find a way to get that gift. Pata namna ya kupata karama. But I am not going to do it. Ila mimi sitofanya. If you if you desire the word of knowledge There is a gift called the word of knowledge. Kama unataka neno la maarifa kuna karama inaitwa neno la maarifa. If you desire to 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 to, to prophesy. Kama unashauki ya kutabiri. There is a gift called the gift of prophecy. 
Kuna karama inaitwa karama ya unabii. Not the Holy Ghost prophesying. Sio Roho Mtakatifu anetabiri. The gift of prophecy. Ila karama ya unabii. It is not the Holy Spirit but it is part of the Holy Spirit. Sio Roho Mtakatifu ila ni sehemu ya Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost is too big. Roho Mtakatifu ni mkubwa sana. Beyond ministries. Zaidi ya huduma zote. Churches and visions. Makanisa na maono. The Holy Ghost is bigger than spiritual gifts. Roho Mtakatifu ni mkubwa kuliko karama za roho. When you see a man prophesying and you say that is the Holy Spirit you are actually downgrading the Holy Ghost. Ukimwona mtu anatabiri na ukasema yule ni Roho Mtakatifu unamshusha Roho wa Mungu. That is how he is so powerful and so might that he does not want to engage himself even in the way you function spiritually. Hivyo ndivyo ni mkuu sana na ana nguvu sana kiasi kwamba hataki kujihusisha na mambo yako ya Roho. thing that the spirit of God takes credit for kitu kimoja ambacho roho wa Mungu anakichukulia sifa My people perish because they lack knowledge. Watu wangu wanaangamia kwa sababu hawana maarifa. He came to fill that part. Alikuja kuijaza hiyo sehemu. That is why he's called an advisor. Ndio maana anaitwa mshauri. Hauwezi kanielewa. Hauwezi kanielewa. He you see when God was when Jesus wanted to send the Holy Spirit. Wakati Yesu alikuwa anataka kumtuma Roho Mtakatifu He said so that you may not be orphans. Alisema ili kusudi msiwe yatima. Si ndio? Ninaenda kwa baba awaletee msaidizi ili msije mkawa yatima. So the Holy Spirit's number one our business in our lives is to fill us with a godly love. Kwa kitu cha kwanza fatherly love. Cha Roho Mtakatifu ni kutujaza na upendo wa Mungu, upendo wa baba. So that we may not be empty inside ili kusudi tusije tukawa tupu ndani yetu came to fill that lonely part in your life alikuja kujaza hiyo sehemu ya upweke maishani mwako that is the number one reason why he's in your life hiyo ndio sababu ya kwanza kwa nini yuko maishani mwako he came alikuja to be an advisor kwa mshauri like a father advising a child kama baba anavomshauri mtoto my son don't do this mtoto wangu usifanye hivi that is the number one agenda of the holy spirit in our life hiyo agenda namba moja roho mtakatifu maisha yetu to guide us kutuongoza the bible says he is a teacher he teaches us biblia nasema ni mwalimu anatufundisha So somebody might say prophet huko uh, mtaani wananiambia wananiambia uh, uh, mimi na uh, squeeze na uh, malaika wako wamemondoa wame roho mtakatifu anybody that tells you that does not know the bible mtu yote anayekuambia hilo hajui biblia kuna mtu anasinzia pembeni yako hebu mtingishe jirani yako mwambie be serious basi hata kidogo hata leo tu just for tonight be serious. for tonight kwa ajili ya usiku leo tu child of god only tonight usiku leo tu man of witchcraft ni uchawi wa aina gani huu that the mic is so loud like this and you are sleeping mic ina nguvu na by anything or anyone hawezi kuwa mbadala wa chochote wala yeyote the bible it was not foolish biblia haikufanya kwa ujinga to write that are these not ministering spirits that have come to minister to those that shall inherit salvation Biblia ilivyosema kwamba je hawa si roho wa hudumuo waliokuja kwa kuwasaidia wale ambao wamorithi wokovu It was talking of angels Ilikuwa naongelea malaika The Bible Biblia tells us inatuambia that angels kama malaika their work kazi yao their uh, their their job kazi yao in this world kwenye hii dunia it is to help ni kusaidia Now in that form of help katika mfumo huo wa kusaidia It is not the same help with the Holy Spirit Sio msaada huo huo na Roho Mtakatifu Let me repeat that part again Ngoja nirudie tena It is not the same help of the Holy Spirit Sio msaada ule ule wa Roho Mtakatifu But this kind of help lakini aina hii ya msaada It is msaada. more practical ni wa vitendo zaidi Yaani ni wa utendaji kazi zaidi Roho Mtakatifu anakufundisha, anakupa maarifa. The Holy Spirit teaches you gives you knowledge. Ili uapply maarifa so that you may use the knowledge. Kuna wafanyakazi wa kusaidia. There are workers that have to help Bado you. Bado hujanielewa. Ninakufundisha I am teaching mambo ya kiroho, spiritual things. Ukaenda kufungua huduma and you went and open Bado your ministry. Bado utahitaji watu. You will still need people. Wa kufanya nao kazi chini yako. To work with So mimi nimekufundisha jinsi ya kutenda kazi kwa huduma. So I have taught you 
how to work in a ministry how to have a, a run a ministry jinsi ya kuendesha huduma but does not mean go and start a ministry and be alone haimaanishi nenda kuanza huduma uwe peke yako there are people that god will bring close to you kuna watu ambao mungu atawaleta karibu na wewe and he wants them to be an assistance to you na anataka wawe msaada kwako in the ministry kwenye huduma sio kama nimeeleweka oh yes my spiritual father Baba yangu wa kiro, he is more of a man of wisdom upon my life ni mtu wa hekima juu ya maisha yangu than a practical man uh, kuliko mtu wa utendaji kazi kwamba david aya inua mkono wako juu aya nyosha mkono sema kwa jina la Yesu he doesn't do that afanye hivyo his wisdom hekima yake his knowledge his teachings maarifa yake mafundisho yake they groom me spiritually yananikuza kiroho but when i want to apply the knowledge that i receive from my father lakini nikitaka kutumia maarifa aliyopokea kwa babangu i need him to play a melody for me ninamhitaji yule anipigie mziki melody so i need an angel of worship around me kwa ninahitaji malaika wa kuabudu aliyenizunguka i am i want to i want to pray for somebody ninataka kumwombea mtu But I cannot be the same person that is holding that person behind and I'm be the same person that is praying for that person. Siwezi nikawa mtu yule yule ambaye ninaka nyuma yake na mtu yule yule ambaye ninamwambia. So ninamobia. I need an angel. Kwa ninahitaji malaika of deliverance. What deliverance? Uh, you, uh, ushers are like angels of deliverance. Oh yes. Uh, utaanza kunielewa taratibu. You will understand me. But Jay, have they replaced my father? Lakini je wamekuwa mbadala wa babangu For you to even think that an angel can replace the Holy Spirit you are too shallow Wewe kudhani tu kama malaika anaweza kawa mbadala roho za kitu kwa of the spirit katika mambo ya rohoni It's like my ashes replacing prophet Ed Ni kama vile mashemasi wangu kuwa mbadala wa prophet Ed Does that make sense in your medulla oblongata Tanjo ni basini Ngokeje na nakumwambia jirani Kiburi cha nini kiburi cha nini Alafu nini sasa? Eh mwambie alafu nini sasa? So nani amenielewa hapo? Now I'm not here to talk about the Holy Spirit. Sasa siko hapa kumwongelea Roho Mtakatifu. Siku yake ni Alhamis. His day is Thursday. On Thursday now let, let's let's deal with this our ashes sasa. Our mashemasi sasa. So angels. Kwa malaika are ashes. Ni mashemasi. You see the problem with you. Unaona tatizo na wewe. You don't believe in the ministry of angels. Hauamini katika huduma ya malaika. The ministration of angels in your life it is more of a ni a watu fulani. Huduma ya malaika in your life is for certain people. But remember in the book of Hebrews read for me Hebrews 1:14. Waebrania 1:14. Waebrania Mlango kwanza mstari ule wa 14. Read for me minister. Hebrews chapter number 1 and verse 14. Mhm. Inasema, "Je, hao wote si roho wa hudumu wakitumwa kwa hudumu wale watakaorithi wokovu?" Watakao fanya nini? Urithi wokovu. Watakao fanya nini? Urithi wokovu. Wamesema ni watawahudumia wata, wata, wata manabii? Hapa. Mitume? No. Wachungaji? Pastors. How many people have inherited salvation? Wangapi wamerithi wokovu? Naomba tusome kama kanisa sasa wote. Let's read that part. Minister. Je Uh-huh. Hao wote si roho wa hudumu wakitumwa kwa hudumu wale watakao rithi wokovu watakao rithi wokovu watakao rithi wokovu tantu mlokole ngeokea mlokole ngeokea mlokole quickly ngeokea mlokole mwangalie mlokole mwambie malaika wako yuko wapi roho inao hudumu maisha ni mwako yuko wapi where is the spirit that ministers to your life Automatically when you receive salvation automatically ukipokea wokovu without praying bila kuomba without fasting bila kufunga what did i say without, without praying. praying without fasting without impartation 
bila amukizo without anything bila chochote there is an angel automatically according to the scriptures kuna malaika kulingana na maandiko that comes close to you anakuja karibu na wewe because just because you have given your life to Jesus kwa sababu tu umeyatoa maisha yako kwa Yesu angel is attracted to you malaika anavutwa kusoga karibu na angels i said an angel nimesema malaika sio malaika wengi one mmoja two maybe three about that but mostly one lakini zaidi mmoja automatically is attracted to you tayari anakuwa amevutwa kwako to be help kwa msaada because the thing that you have gotten yourself into maana kitu ambacho umejiingiza mwenyewe you have gotten yourself into a spiritual world umejiingiza katika ulimwengu wa roho you are born again where umeokoka wapi kivipi nicodemus asked nicodemus akauliza shall i enter my mother's womb mtaingia kwenye tumbo la mama then he said no 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 akasema pana but unless akasema isipokuwa you are born in the spirit umezaliwa katika roho so now when you are born in the spirit ukizaliwa katika roho you are born into the spirit umezaliwa katika roho automatically you become a spiritual person vile vile unakuwa mtu wa rohoni but without power lakini bila nguvu ah being spiritual kuwa wa kiroho when you are born again ukiomokoka is different from being spiritual ni tofauti kwa wa kiroho when i teach you how to be spiritual nikikufundisha jinsi ya kuwa rohoni the, the, the being spiritual of you being born again wewe kwa kuwa rohoni kwa kuzaliwa mara pili kwa kwa says you have now become a new creation Biblia inasema kwamba umekuwa kiumbe kipya. Umekuwa nani? Kiumbe kipya. Ongea basha kusoma hilo andiko. Tazama umefanyika kwa kiumbe kipya. Kanisa naomba unijibu umefanyika kwa nani? Kiumbe kipya. Na huyo kiumbe kipya ni mgeni katika huo ulimwengu. Now that new creation is new in that realm. So you are a new creation in a, in a certain dimension. Kwa wewe ni kiumbe kipya katika viwango fulani. You need help. Unahitaji msaada and the first help is not the holy spirit na msaada wa kwanza sio roho mtakatifu because you can be born again yet you don't have the holy spirit unaweza kuokoka na bado hauna roho mtakatifu are you not hearing me very true you can be born again unaweza ukazaliwa mara ya pili kuokoka and you don't have the holy spirit na hauna roho mtakatifu but you have an angel lakini una malaika angels are not there because of the holy spirit malaika hawapo hapo kwa sababu ya roho mtakatifu because even before the holy spirit came upon your life kwa sababu hata kabla roho mtakatifu hajaja jua maisha yako angel was already there malaika tayari alikuepo na wewe what is becoming born again nini kuokoka believe in your heart kuamini ndani ya moyo wako confess with your mouth na kukiri kwa kinywa chako that jesus is lord kwamba yesu ni bwana you are saved umeokoka unalala ndio kina kiasi gani ulivyo that you can navigate in the spirit while i'm standing in front of you is that how deep you are kama unaweza kutembea katika roho wakati nimesimama mbele yako okay because because people are, are, are tired let me finish for tonight kwa sababu watu wanachoka ngoja nimalize kwa kwa leo let me make it very short ngoja nifanye fupi ni ndef kidogo so i will make it short no 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 I mean turn to your neighbor say neighbor prophet and I'll raise you my shall. I'm helping him. Jirani yako amesema yes, yes, yes. Mimi nimemmsikia katika roho. So 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 how ni roho zidumua ambazo zinakuja kwa wale ambao wameurithi? wokovu So dimension number one of the angelic in your life Kwa kiwango cha kwanza cha malaika maisha yako Is the day you said Jesus come in my heart Ni siku uliyosema Yesu Come in my life Njoo maisha yako Enter my life Ingia maisha yako In heaven Binguni An angel was released Malaika aliachiliwa And came to you Akaja kwako Okay So now that angel 
Kwa sasa huyu malaika He is there so that you may not backslide. Yuko hapo ili kusudi usije karudi nyuma. Kazi yake kubwa The job si that he has. Nyuma, nyuma kiimani. Is so that you may not backslide. You keep on keeping on. Uendelee kuendelea. As a born again Christian. Kama Mkristo aliyokoka. Because now when you give your life to Jesus demons wake up. Kwa ukimpa Yesu maisha yako mapepo yanamka. All spirits under the world they want to pull you out of Christianity. Out of Christ. Za kuzim zinataka zikutoe kwa Kristo. They are spirits kuna roho that are hunting Christian new born new born Christians. Ambao zinawinda wa Kristo ambao ni wapya katika wokovu. Baby Christians. Wa Kristo watoto. They have their many spirits. Their job is to just make sure that Christians backslide kazi yao ni kuhakikisha kwamba wakristo wanarudi nyuma when you receive the holy spirit ukipokea roho mtakatifu it is now another dimension ni kiwango kingine when you have received the holy spirit ukimpokea roho mtakatifu you need unahitaji to ask the holy spirit kumuomba roho mtakatifu to give you tongues akupe ndimi why kwa nini because child of god kwa sababu mwana wa mungu satan knows everything shetani anajua kila kitu that is in heaven everything kila kitu about heaven kuhusu mbinguni if you think the devil doesn't know where you are going after you die ukidhani kama shetani hajui unapokwenda baada ya kufa think again waza tena if you think when you are prophesying the uh, deep the devil is shocked kama unadhani ukiwa unatabiri kwa kina shetani anashtuka think again fikiri tena you are not you are not the first wewe wa kwanza he has seen great men and women ameona watu wakuu wa wake kabla yetu sisi he has been in the presence of every generation from the time of adam amekuwa kwenye kila kizazi toka kipindi cha adam he has seen wonders of god that you have never seen he has seen ameona majabu ya mungu ambayo hajawekwa yao satan was there when god was parting the red sea Shetani alikuepo wakati Mungu anaigawanya bahari ya Shamu. You read of it, him, he was there. He saw it. The Moses that was in Moses Moses he was he, he, he went actually he alichukua ali, aliangaika na mwili wa Musa. Do you understand what I'm saying? Moses Prophet Moses. Satan, Musa. Satan touched the dead body of Moses. Shetani aliugusa mwili wa Musa. There is nothing that a man of God will do that will shock the devil. Mtu wa Mungu atafanya ambacho kitamshtua shetani, utamsumbua. But he's not like what is this? Lakini hatoshtuka kwamba hiki ni nini. But there is one thing. Lakini kuna kimoja. That Satan does not know and has never known until today, a mystery to him. Shetani hajawahi kujua, kwake yeye ni fumbo. It is tongues. Ni ndimi. You see tongues nimi were designed zilitengenezwa after the fall of satan baada ya anguko la shetani god knew that i'm creating a satan in my midst mungu alijua ninatengeneza shetani katika yangu he shall yangu. know of everything atajua kila kitu but one thing he shall not know lakini kimoja hatokijua the language lugha of communication ya mawasiliano between my people kati ya watu wangu my angels malaika zangu and myself na mimi mwenyewe so now why is it important for a christian when you have given your life to jesus to un- to start engaging yourself in speaking in unknown tongues kwa nini ni muhimu kwa mkristo ambaye ametoka kumpa yesu maisha yake kujiingiza katika kunena kwa lugha it is simple ni rahisi there are angels kuna malaika that understand the languages of men ambao wanaelewa lugha za wanadamu these are angels that are created by god for the affairs of men hao ni malaika ambao muumbwa na mungu kwa ajili ya issue za wanadamu and they are angels na kuna malaika that do not understand english ambao hawaelewi kiingereza you don't like it aupendi it's simple Iraisi. I'll teach you this. Nitakufundisha. There are men of God. Kuna watu wa Mungu. Yes? Yeah. That are teaching the word. Wanafundisha neno. But they can, they don't understand the language of prophecy. Lakini hawaelewi lugha ya unabii. Men of God. Watu wa Mungu. That have they have eaten the Bible. Wamekula Biblia. When it comes to uh, Numbers chapter number 2 verse 
inapokuja kwenye hesabu mlango wa pili mstari wa 13 wanakuambia Leviticus chapter number 1 verse 14 they tell you Walawi mlango wa kwanza 14 wanakuambia Any scripture you just they give you Andiko lote wewe taja But when you say in the spiritual realm Lakini ukisema katika ulimwengu wa roho That same man of God that is deep in scriptures Mtu wa Mungu huyo huyo ambaye yuko kina kwenye maandiko He has become a stranger to that language Amekuwa stranger kwenye ile lugha Wewe ukanielewa I don't know if I'm in Nipo Angels of God Ministries I don't know I don't know I don't know Kule nyuma I don't know are you getting me Are you with me? So a man of God. Ko mtu wa Mungu. Deep in the word. The word. You see when you, talk, kina kwenye neno. when you talk about the word you're talking about Christ. Ukiongelea neno unamwangalia Kristo. You see the word that you read it's spirit. Neno unalosoma ni ni roho. Ni roho. That word is spirit. Ilo neno ni roho. It is God. Ni Mungu. You you are reading God. Unamsoma Mungu. When you read the Bible you are reading God. Ukisoma Biblia unamsoma Mungu. The word is God. Neno ni Mungu. Neno ni nani? Mungu. Ni Mungu but yet. Lakini bado. Are you hearing me? There are men that are deep in the word but they don't understand the language of miracles. Kuna watu ambao wako kina na neno lakini hawaelewi lugha ya mikiza. When it comes to performing miracles. Inapokuja kwenye kutenda mikiza. That same man of God. Mtu wa Mungu huyo huyo. He is a stranger. Anakuwa mgeni. Is he a man of God? Yes. Ni mtu wa Mungu? Ndio. Will he go to heaven? Yes. Atenda mbinguni? Ndio. Is his name written in the book of life? Yes. Jina lake limeandikwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima? Ndio. Is he full of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Amejawa na Roho Mtakatifu? Ndio. But the language of miracles. Ila lugha ya prophecies. Una P. It is a strange language to him. Ni lugha ngeni kwake yeye. There are angels. Kuna malaika. That do not understand. Ambao hawaelewi. When you say njo, ukisema njo. There are demons. Kuna mapepo. Let's not go about angels. There are demons. Kuna mapepo. That don't understand Kinyaturu. Hayaelewi Nyaturu language. You, you, you might doubt me. Unaweza kanitilia shaka. But mimi nakupa vitu ambavyo nime experience practically. I'm giving you things that I've experienced. There are demons when you speak Chinese they don't understand you. Kuna mapepo ukiongea Kichina yakuelewa. They will see the power that is coming from you. Wataona nguvu inotoka kwako. But they don't understand what you're saying. Lakini waelewi unachosema. You see there is a difference there. Kuna tofauti hapo. Manifestations can be great. Utirisho unaweza kuwa mkubwa. But the language being spoken does not make sense to them. Lakini lugha iliyozungumzwa haina maana kwao. Unanielewa, unanielewa. Mwanamke akiwa na mwanamke wa Kitanzania anaongea Kiswahili a, a Tanzanian woman anataka kuji, anataka kujifungua when they want to, to give birth amekutana na mchina nesi and barabarani they, and they meet a chinese now je mtoto atatoka au atatoka atatoka watakokuwa naongea wataelewana watu they will not understand each other but they will the manifestation will speak for itself ila utirisho utajiongelea wenyewe subiri mimi nakwambia utanielewa by the time natoka ule mlango There are dimensions in the spirit. Kuna viwango katika roho. Languages come to an end. Lugha zinafika mwisho. There are ranks and spiritual dimensions. Kuna kuna vyeo na viwango vya rohoni. That if you you do you know? Even of how. There are angels when you tell an angel I need a promotion at work. The angel is looking at you and does not understand the language of promotion because that angel in his entire creation he has never promoted anyone. Kuna malaika ukimwambia ninataka promotion atakuangalia na haju unachosema kwa sababu maisha ni mwake mote hajawahi kupromote mtu yoyote. So now tongues kondimi when you give your life to Jesus you receive an angel ukimpa Yesu maisha yako unapokea malaika that helps you not to backslide ambaye anakusaidia ili usirudi nyuma kimaana that one leads you to the right church huyo anakupeleka kwenye kanisa sahihi sema baba yako wewe ulikuwa mbishi ukaanza kujichanganya changanya but the angel tried to warn and said go to angels of god means ah, ah go to ah, hey. please oh yeah, go there ah, mimi nataka maombi bwana
So that angel was there to direct you to the right. Kwa hiyo malaika alikuepo pale kuongoza kwenye kanisa sahihi. The right house of God. Kwenye nyumba ya Mungu sahihi kwa. The angel succeeded. Malaika alivyofanikiwa. Come sahihi come. Priska come. So he is a man of God. Kwa huyu ni mtu wa Mungu. And, and she, she, she has given her life to Christ. Na ame, amempa Yesu Kristo maisha yake. So she has given no but tuangalie uko. She has given her life to Jesus. Amempa Bwana Yesu maisha yake. And then there is a, the right man of God for her destiny. Alafu kuna mtu sahihi mtu wa Mungu kwa ajili ya hatima yake. But she does not know the man of God but she's new in Christianity. Lakini hamjui mtu wa Mungu vizuri ila ni mpya kwenye Ukristo. So the angel will find ways. I will be the angel now. Kwa malaika atatafuta namna. Every kind of way. Kila namna ya njia. Make sure that she is connected to that one. Kuhakikisha kwamba ameunganika na yule pale. Wewe ukaelewa? You, you may not understand. Kwa kwa wewe unadhani ulikuja kuja tu bahati mbaya. That so you, is the problem. You just think that you came by chance. That is the problem. Hilo ndo tatizo. But there now the angel knows. Lakini malaika anajua. That when you The first time you prayed in tongues. Siku ya kwanza ulivonena kwa lugha. Who was the man that imparted you the spirit of God? You. Ni mtu gani wa Mungu ambaye alikuambukiza roho ya Mungu? Who is you? You is what? Dad, you prophet David. So 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 now it's practical like that. Ni ni ipo kiutendaji namna hiyo. Entire life she never used to believe in what we are doing. Maisha yake yote hajai kuamini kwenye kile tunafanya. But she came in contact with me. Alikutana na mimi. By an assignment through an angel without even her knowing maybe. Kwa assignment kupitia malaika bila ye kujua. Now 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 there are two ways. Kuna namna mbili. A man of God that works with angels. Mtu wa Mungu ambaye anatembea na malaika. He must have angels that are soul winners. Lazima awe na 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 malaika ambao ni kwa ajili ya kuvuna nafsi. So sometimes a man of God anaweza akaja akapanga mtaani kwenu. Kwa mtu wa Mungu can come and rent in your street. For the street. purpose of winning your soul. Kwa ajili ya kuvuna nafsi yako. Ah 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 I know you might not understand. You see, a man of God. Now let, let's leave her. Tumwache. Let's tumwa tumweke yeye kwenye category ambayo sio mlokole kabisa. Let let's put her in a category where she's not so a Christian. So a man of God can be led into her life. Kwa mtu wa Mungu anaweza kaongoza maisha ni mwake. In the Bible, katika Biblia, an apostle by the name of Philip Mtume kwa jina Filipo. He was walking heading to Damascus. Alikuwa anatembea kuelekea Damascus. And then there is a, a chariot that passed him. Alafu kuna gari la farasi likampita. Inside the chariot there was a unis, unique unique Kulikuwa na toashi from uh, Kush kutokea Ethiopia. Kutokea wapi? Ethiopia. And the Bible says the spirit of the Lord led Philip. Na Biblia nasema roho Mungu akamwongoza Filipo. And he went closer to the chariot na kaenda karibu na ile gari la farasi he heard the unique akamsikia ile toashi studying the book of isaiah akiwa nasoma chuo cha isaiah who started to talk to the other nani alianza kumongesha mwingine philip said do you know what you are reading philip akamuliza unajua unachokisoma anafuata gari he was following the an angel the told him go close malaika akaenda karibu there is a, a soul we need to win kuna nafsi inabidi tuivune tumeona kanisa langu lipo lala leo So, I think I'm speaking pepperish tongues. Naongea ndimi za kigeni. We are getting you daddy. You're not. Ai. I don't feel it. Siski kama unaelewa. Lift up your hands. Ina mko nako juu. Say Lord Jesus, sit down. Sema Bwana Yesu. Thank you for what you're doing in my life. Asante kwa kile unafanya maishani mwangu. Can we rise up? Tunaweza kuinuka? Just stand up for a minute. Simama tu kwa dakika moja. And let us pray. Na tuombe. Just for a minute. Pray. Kwa dakika moja, tuombe. Just lead us in prayer. Viewers all over the world begin to pray right now. Ina mikono yako juu. Mwambie Bwana asante kwa kile unachofanya maishani mwangu sasa hivi. I open up my spirit to receive your wisdom and your knowledge. Begin to pray. Anza kuomba. Lika pande ni masota rabaya. Are you praying? Begin to pray now. Anza kuomba. Anza kuomba. Anza kuomba. Begin to pray. We open up our spirit. Father, may you grant us grace to understand and to receive that which comes together with your anointing. Fungua kinywa chako. Make sure you're praying. Akisha naomba, kisha naomba. 
If you can speak in tongues, begin to speak in tongues. Leka pandu nama suvededia. Rato kopa daba ankre di la manu sata. Repata daba bande le mosha. Bilas kopa aki a pande ne masata. Reko pa daba huze teledia. Lika pandu no mosha taya. La paroba kande ne mosha. Pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Remember, tonight your neighbor does not mean anything. Jirani yako hamna maana yoyote usiku wa leo. Ni wewe na Mungu wako. It's you and your God. Make sure you pray. Lipa tene mo shadia. Melasko fa adia kante. Zupata da mando no mosha. Rapa tola bahadi. Liko pande ne huza taladia. Bela kanto rato shata. Miso tila pa. Bele kopa ante ne huza. Bele koba dia prande ne mo shata. Rako pa na masu bele dia. Lika panda na masu tono mo shabre. Pray. Fungwa kenya chako na wombe. Open up your spirit. Open up your spirit. That you may hear the Lord. That you may receive the knowledge and the wisdom of God. La maso. Fadi la so. Pele kapa ke tene hizo sata. Mariko pandele ezos kabila krante. La roba hadia. Zulish kapa. Meko shadia. Re kapa. Dono mo shata. Le kapa da bahado. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Akisho nomba, akisho nomba. Akisho nomba, charge up your spirit. Charge up your spirit. Kule nyuma, make sure you pray. Usim shangai jirani yako. You are not here for your neighbor. You are here by the spirit of God to receive wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the deep things of the Holy Spirit. You can pray better than how you're praying. You can pray better than how you're praying. You can pray better than how you're praying. Be was all over the world whenever you're watching from. Make sure you're praying. Epe Taliho Basha Talamaha. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you're praying. Ashes pray. Ashes pray. Ashes pray. Child of God pray. Child of God pray. Let the revelation sink into your spirit. By you speaking in tongues, let the knowledge sink into your spirit. Let the wisdom sink into your spirit. Let the knowledge be absorbed into your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down, take your seat, please. I don't know. Should we continue? Should we continue? I'm talking to Aleko actually. Should we continue? Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't know. Is it difficult to understand? No, don't say no when it is yes. It's difficult to understand. Eh? Apostle, Apostle, are you getting me? You're getting me. So, so uh, come back, come back, minister, come back. Uh, Jesus, come back. Let's, let, let me, let me, let me, let me wind up for tonight. What did Malizia call sequale? You see, the topic of angels. I need six months to explain. Manda ya malaika ni netaji miyazi sita kuelezea. I don't know, you know, to to book again. And Miesio tell you back when I look at it prophetically, Miesia and they are very deep. When I look prophetically at the months that are remaining, there are things that are so deep. So, so, so. I don't know, come on, Kotari, I can do maybe three months of just encounters and angels and just. We are ready, ready. Are you really, really, really ready? Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Your kaji na nyako mo bejirani. Iyo teni kwa sababu na biya nata ka umuelewe mungu. This is all because the prophet wants you to understand God. I don't want you to come out of this. You know there is when you capture the revelation. Unona ukiu kamata funo. 
You see, this whole thing began with me when I captured the revelation. Kitu hiki chote kilianza na mimi pale ambapo nilipokamata ufunuo. Vilianza maisha ni mwangu when I I caught the revelation. They all began in my life when I caught the revelation that for me to become very spiritual kwamba ili mimi niwe wa rohoni sana i need to have presence of spirits inabidi niwe na uwepo wa malaika wa roho and the, the, what are the spirits than angels na hao ni roho gani malaika but now the bigger the network around me the closer i get to god vile ambavyo mtanda huu ni mkubwa ndivyo ambavyo nakuwa karibu na Mungu When I caught that revelation nilipokamata ufunuo I went into a mission niliingia kwenye mission A serious mission of my life niliingia kwenye mission serious ya maisha yangu I just I just one day I sat down and I said what makes a witch or a a a, 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 a demonic person powerful Nikakaa chini nikasema kinachomfanya mtu wa kipepo awe na nguvu ni nini number 1 a covenant cha kwanza agano with the devil na shetani number 2 the demons around the person number 2 mapepo yale mzunguko ama roho if they are powerful it becomes power kama zina nguvu anakuwa na nguvu two things that really woke me up and said you know what vitu viwili i checked and i said mbona people they are not doing it ni aliangalia nikasema kwa nini watu wafanye covenant people are not even aware in, in church in tanzania agano <laughs> You are foolish. Okay, yes, finished. It is finished. If you know the devil the keys to death and, and 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 hell are no longer in the hands of the devil. Unajua funguo za mauti na kuzimu haziko mkononi mwa shetani. They are in the hands of Jesus. Ziko katika mkono wa Yesu. When he went down for three days. Alivoshuka kwa siku tatu. Kule kuzimu alienda kuchukua hizo funguo za mauti. He went and took the keys. But even if the devil does not have power over death. Lakini hata kama shetani hana nguvu tena juu. Hajali. He's still killing. Bado anaua. Do you know that? Very true. Ukishuka kuzimu mkuti Yesu na funguo zake you find the devil there. When you go to hell out of mkuta Yesu na funguo so, utamkuta Satan. Satan does not really care what happened for in those three days. So the devil hajali kilichotokea ndani ya Yesu. He needs you to capture the revelation. Inakuhitaji wewe ukamate mfunuo. Yaani kumshinda shetani sio kwa sababu Yesu alisema imeisha. To be victorious over the devil is not because Jesus said Jesus it is took keys from Satan minister. Yes baba. He took keys. Yes alichukua fungu. And he said I don't want you to have power over this anymore. Akasema sitakiwe na nguvu tena juu ya hivi. Baada ya masaa mawili Yesu kupaa mbinguni the after, devil started killing people. After three hours uh, after of Jesus, Jesus ascending heaven, the devil started killing people. Akaanza akaendelea kuua watu. He has been he has killed everyone around you he has killed your business he has killed your yako. marriage he is destroying your calling una unaisha tu kusema mimi nina wito what is that and you say it is finished it is not finished no na sema imekwisha haijaisha chat the revelation ukamata funuo okay okay because of time kwa sababu ya muda. So 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 there are two sides to this story. Kwa kuna pande mbili katika story hii. The man of God that has an angelic network. Mtu wa Mungu ambaye ana mtandao wa malaika. He must have a network. You must seek for angels that are there to assist you win souls. Lazima utafute malaika ambao wako hapo wanaokusaidia kuvuna nafsi. Wangaposhia kumsoma Filipo kwenye Biblia. How many have read about Philip in the Bible? Wakati naongelea ile story mwana Mungu mbona ulikuwa unafanya kama unielewi ninachoongea? Ongapa najua ile story ya Toash. Nani alimfuata nani? Who followed who? Ha? Filipo ndo alifuata ile gari. Oh yes. Akaanza kuzungumza. Oh yes. That same way. Namna hiyo hiyo. So when an angel is assigned now when she gave her life to Jesus. Ko alipo mpa Yesu mashaka. So the angel leads her to the right man of God. Kwa malaika anamuongoza kwa mtu sahihi wa Mungu. This angel's duty 
kwa kazi ya huyu malaika amemlinda huyu labda kwa mwezi mmoja wiki mbili tatu miezi mitatu the angel protected this one maybe for three or two months when she gave her life to jesus alipompa yesu maisha yake but she did not have a place to pray lakini hakuwa na mahali pa kusali na kwa an altar hakuwa na madhabahu you see angels rest when a man of god is in place unajua malaika wanatulia pale ambapo mtu mungu kwa mahali man of god is in a, in, a, in a specific area mtu sahihi wa mungu akiwa mahali pa you know what angels do unajua malaika wanatulia they move around the city the, the country the world wanazunguka duniani kote to make people be aware of that man of god kufanya watu wamjue huyo mtu wa mungu so that the angels now become busy in bringing people to the man of god kwa malaika wanakuwa busy kuleta watu kwa huyo mtu wa mungu when hear me When a man of God is centered by God in a place. Mtu Mungu akiwekwa mahali na Mungu. Now there there are there is a, a, a group of angels that make sure that these people that are, are, are be, becoming born again they they go to the right place. Kuna malaika ambao wanahakikisha kwamba watu wanaokoka wanaenda mahali sahihi. To the right altar for their destiny. Kwenye madhabahu sahihi kwa ajili ya hatuma zao. Because a wrong altar will delay your destiny. Kwa sababu madhabahu isiyo sahihi itachelewesha hatuma yako. Wewe ni mkulima wa mpunga umeanza kufanya ukulima wa maharagwe. You are doing agriculture. Unafanya kilimo. But what kind of agriculture? Lakini aina gani ya kilimo? Umeokoka. Unasali kwenye kanisa. Ina ni kanisa aina gani? But what manner of church do you worship? Is it your church? Je, ni kanisa lako? Is that your your man of God? Je, huyo ni mtu wako wa Mungu? Carrying your destiny aliyebeba hatima yako so that, that that same angel that came when you gave your life to jesus has an assignment yule aliyekuja wakati ulipompa yesu maisha yako ana kazi i'm actually i'm nimeanza kufundisha topic ya jumapili leo so we are going to do this thing for the next three days kwa tutafanya kwa siku tatu yani, zilizobaki leo alamis na jumapili angelic network i'm already doing it yes sir so this this angels assignment is to make sure she goes to the right man of god. Kazi ya malaika huyu ni kuhakikisha anaenda kwa mtu wa Mungu aliye sahihi. Now when she is close to the man of god. Kwa akiwa karibu na mtu wa Mungu. The angel leaves. Malaika anaondoka. Goes to heaven. Anaenda mbinguni. And tells uh, whosoever that sent the angel. Anamwambia huyo aliyemtuma yule malaika. Sometimes it's not god. Wakati mwingine sio Mungu. Sometimes it's another angel that sent an angel. Wakati mwingine ni malaika anamtuma malaika mwingine. Mikael na malaika wake and michael and his angels wakapigana na shetani na malaika zake they fought against the devil and his angels so noma nimesema yoyote alio mtuma and he says my job is done anasema kazi yangu imekwisha that child of god i have already placed her in the right place yule mwana wa mungu nimeshamweka mali sahihi and then the angel or the, the, the lord alafu malaika ama bwana the lord bwana and is confused yes the lord Bwana looks anaangalia and sees that she's there anaona iko pale now before the next stage of the angelic manifestation in her life kabla ya hatua inayofuata ya mtembeo wa malaika maishani mwake he has a duty of filling her with the holy spirit ana ana wajibu wa kumjaza kwa roho mtakatifu because the next dimension maana kiwango kinachofuata she must be baptized in something called fire lazima abatizwe katika kitu kinaitwa moto katika kitu kinachoitwa nini moto fire are you getting what i'm saying unaelewa anachokisema in something called what fire. fire now the fire why was she brought to him kwa nini aliletwa kwake huyu because he is the carrier of the fire kwa sababu yeye ndio anabeba moto aliwaumba malaika zake kwa upepo he made his angel wind and his servants fire and his ministers fire the book of psalms truly so ma ngapi wanakumbuka ile fire and wind ngapi wanakumbuka ile somo amewafanya malaika zake katika upepo he has made katika his pepo. in wind yes yes in the book of psalms yes and he has made his servants out of fire na amefanya utumishi wake moto now when you realize what i'm teaching you taelewa something deep ukagundua nacho kufundisha you will understand Wind something deeper upepo blue ha ulimpuliza na kumsukuma to the fire kwenye moto aya 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 the angel malaika is like a wind ni kama upepo that blows you to the direction of the fire ukagundua kuelekea 
upande unatakiwa kwenda but because the angel lakini kwa sababu malaika is made of wind ameumbwa kwa pepo we live and go and not be close to the fire nilifundisha ataondoka hatakuwa karibu na moto now when the angel goes back malaika akirudi and reports to heaven na kuripoti mbinguni it is the duty now of the man of god ni jukumu la mtu wa mungu to see that i have a new daughter kuona kama nina binti mpya i have to groom her inabidi nimle so now the holy spirit now comes in kwa sasa roho mtakatifu anaingia anaanza kumsumbua huyo and begins to disturb this he wants to impart on her anataka kumwambukiza huyo so unakuta kwenye ibada and the man of god says you come here come here come so in the service mtu mungu anasema give me oil give me oil let me anoint this ngoja nimpake mafuta and then you are wondering what is this unashangaa hiki ni nini it is the holy spirit now ni roho mtakatifu sasa wants to impart her anataka kumwambukiza with the fire na moto Now remember this man of God. Kumbuka huyu mtu wa Mungu. Behind him. Nyuma yake. There are angels. Kuna malaika wengi. But for a man of God. Lakini ili mtu wa Mungu. And a, a grown up man of God in the spirit. Mtu wa Mungu ambaye amekua katika roho. He does roo. not move with angels that are wind. Hatembei na malaika mmoja wa He moves with angels of fire. Anatembea na malaika wa moto. Ah, you're not hearing me. So now this man kwa huyu mtu behind him he's surrounded by beings that are blazing fire nyuma yake amezungukwa na viumbe ambao wanawaka moto that is why when you meet a man of god ndio maana ukikutana na mtu wa mungu you will not see wind moving around hautaona upepo ukiona pita you will see fire utaona moto i told you my father's angels nilikwambia malaika wa babangu There is a category of angels that are not made of wind that I tell you. Kuna ya malaika ambao hawajaumbwa na upepo. They are made out of the fire. Wameumbwa kwa moto. So that they may sustain the presence of apostles and prophets. Ili kusudi aweze kusustain uwepo wa manabii na mitume. Ili malaika atembee na wewe anabidi na yeye awe ametengenezwa katika moto. Oh yes. Ah, you're not hearing me. We are hearing you daddy. If you are still moving with angels that are moving like wind you are too small. Kama bado unatembea na malaika ambao wanatembea kama upepo bado ni mdogo. Hao wanawaleta watu makanisani. Those are bringing people to churches. Wale walioko kanisani. The ones that are in churches. Those are seraphims and cherubims. Wale ni maserafi na makerubi. See these these are these are dimensions of the angelic. Even if you want of your malaika. The man of God now is surrounded by pillars of fire kwa mtu wa Mungu amezungukwa na nguzo za moto creatures that are blazing fire viumbe ambao vinawaka moto and she, when she gets the fire from the man of god na kipata moto kutoka kwa mtu wa Mungu now the, the, the fire moto or it's a spirit ni roho so this spirit kwa hii roho submits to this spirit ime submit kwenye hii roho that is where submission comes in ndio maana submission hapo ndipo nani I give you part of the fire that I carry ninakupa sehemu ya moto ambayo nimeubeba nimeubeba whatever you are carrying chochote ulichobeba came from me kimetoka kwangu uh, we are proud of that daddy sit down kachini it is dangerous to talk It is dangerous to play around with a man that prays for you. Ni hatari kucheza na mtu ambaye anakuombea. You are carrying unabeba the fire that he the yani wewe you took a portion of the fire. Ulichukua sehemu ya moto. Not the full fire. He carries the fire. Anabeba ule moto. So now when the fire is dropped in you. Kwa moto kashushwa ndani yake. The fire wants to pray. Moto unataka kuomba. The fire wants to fast. Moto unataka kufunga. The fire wants to 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 be in church. Moto unataka kwa kanisani. The fire just wants the presence of God. Moto unataka tu uwepo wa Mungu. It wants to serve God. Unataka kumtumikia Mungu. It is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ndio moto wa Roho Mtakatifu. Do not come out of Jerusalem. Usitoke Yerusalemu until ye receive the fire mpaka mpoke moto the spirit roho when he came down there were tongues of fire aliposhuka kulikuwa kuna ndimi za moto so now the fire wants to to serve god kwa sasa moto unataka kumtumikia mungu now when the man of god looks at you and sees you have received it mtu wa mungu akiangalia kikiona umepokea he will tell you this atakwambia hivi stay connected baki umeunganishwa you don't understand awelewi stay connected ni baki kuunganishwa what is stay connected kuunganishwa ni there is more fire 
Kuna moto zaidi. That you can get but the vessel is not strong enough to contain the fire. Unaweza kupata lakini chombo sio kikubwa vya kutosha kuweza kuweka umoto. Now you need to to enlarge your vessel. Sasa hivi unahitaji kukuza chombo chako. You can pray. Unaweza kuomba. You, maybe even you are praying in tongues now. Labda hata unanena kwa lugha sana. Do not be fooled. Lakini usidanganywe. That you are greater than your teacher. Kwamba wewe ni mkuu kuliko mwalimu wako. I don't know if this church is getting what I'm saying. So now she's praying in tongues. And the man of God is praying in tongues. If you are, you are, you are not careful. The enemy will come. And tell you you can now pray. You can now fast. Go and start your own church. Go and start. Go and start. Your own church. So no so so she 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 she, she forgets Kwa hiyo anasahau that she does not have an angel yet kwamba bado hana malaika the angel already left malaika alishaondoka you're not hearing me right now she Sahi. is under a man's grace yuko chini ya neema ya mtu fulani she's covered by his grace amefunikwa na neema yake his angels his malaika wake angels his malaika wake angel his malaika wake angels malaika are fighting for her ndio wanampambania yeye she does not have her own angels hana malaika wake mwenyewe The church will never teach you this because they don't even know it. Kanisa halitakufundisha haya kwa sababu hawajui. He's she, she's now she has the Holy Spirit. Sasa na Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit comes with the fire. Roho Mtakatifu anakuja na moto. She's praying. Kwa kiwa naomba. She's praying she loves God. I'm anaomba na mpenda Mungu. My my daughter is highly anointed. I'm just taking an example. Binti yangu ana upako sana. Nachukua tu mfano. Eh uh, usije ukachanganywa na mfano na reality. She is a dangerous woman of God. Ni mtu wa Mungu hatari. Okay, but understand the example. Lakini elewa mfano. So 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 when she's she's praying. Ko akiwa naomba. Yes. Now that she has a mandate. Ana analo kusudi of growing that fire. Ana jukumu la kukuza wao moto. No one is doing it for you. Sem hiyo hakuna anayekufanyia. You need to grow that fire on yourself. Unahitaji kukuza wao moto you mwenyewe. You need to grow your fire on your own. Unahitaji kukuza wao moto peke yako. You are given the spirit. Umepewa roho. Let the spirit fill you now. Roho ikujaze sasa. By your own efforts. Kwa juhudi zako mwenyewe. Sacrifice. Kujidhabihu. Work out your own salvation. Utendea kazi wokovu wako mwenyewe. Now when 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 she has grown akiwa amekua sasa in the dimension of the Holy Spirit. Katika kiwango cha Roho Mtakatifu. She now understands the Holy Spirit because when you understand the Holy Spirit. Ukimwelewa Roho Mtakatifu you understand how to control any spirit. Unaelewa jinsi ya kuendesha roho yoyote. When you have understood write it down when you have you have understood the holy spirit ukiwa umemwelewa roho mtakatifu roho mwenye nguvu na mkuu kuliko roho zingine zozote the most powerful and mighty more than any other spirit you can control any spirit unaweza ukaendesha roho yoyote because your teacher is the most powerful spirit kwa sababu mwalimu wako ndio roho yenye nguvu zaidi So when you have grown in the Holy Ghost. Ko, kama ukiwa umekua katika roho. When you have grown in what? The Holy Ghost. In the Holy Spirit. Katika roho. Stand up. It's fine. Stand. Up. When you have grown in the Holy Spirit. Ukiwa umekua katika roho mtakatifu. Now she has grown in the Holy Ghost. Ameshakua katika roho. Now she needs something. Anahitaji kitu. She needs an encounter. Anahitaji encounter. What is an encounter? Kukutana kiungu ni nini? It is opening you a door. Ni inakufungulia mlango opening a door inafungua mlango to the spirit world kwenye ulimwengu wa roho remember all this time kumbuka wakati huo she is being trained alikuwa anafunzwa ndio ule muda ambao unaishi kama Mungu hakusikii is that moment that you feel as if god does not hear you mtu akuliza mara mwisho kumsikia Mungu lini you start asking yourself a question hivi kweli mara mwisho kumsikia Mungu mimi mlokole ni lini is god really still with me Mungu kweli bado yuko na mimi when was the last time you had a vision or a dream you don't even know if you are having dreams or visions anymore how you tena kama una ndoto au maono the spirit was preparing you for an encounter roho alikuwa anakuandaa kwa ajili ya kukutana kiungu because the realm that you are about to tap into maana ulimwengu ambao unakwenda kuingia there there are no men 
Uko hamna watu. There are their spirits. Uko kuna roho. So now for you to enter into the dimension of the supernatural. Kwa ili wewe uingie katika kiwango cha majabu. And encounter your own personal angels. Na kukutana na malaika wako wenyewe. Not the angels of your father. Sio malaika wa baba yako. There is a door that will be placed in front of you. Kuna mlango ambao umewekwa mbele yako. Break forth into the dimension of the spirit. Vunja na uingie katika viwango vya roho. So there is an angel that shall wait for you on this side of the door. Kwa kuna malaika atakusubiria upande huu wa mlango. You are now about to do your final test. Unakaribia kufanya mtihani wako wa mwisho. Of the three years of following your man of God. Ya miaka mitatu ya kumfuata mtu wako wa Mungu. You are now about to do your final test. Unakaribia kufanya jaribio lako la mwisho. Of the Holy Spirit training and teaching you. La Roho Mtakatifu kukufundisha na kukufunza. It is now a season of the supernatural. Ni, ni majira ya majabu. A door is placed in front of you. Mlango unawekwa mbele yako. Na wewe ninavyosema a door ninavyosema a door ni mlango that is placed in front of you ambao umewekwa mbele yako and the lord is watching na bwana anaangalia let her enter when if you if you manage to enter ukiweza kuingia what you shall see on that side utakachokiona upande huo be quiet kakimia until the lord's time paka muda wa bwana until the season of the lord paka majira ya bwana when he shall allow you to speak ambapo atakuruhusu uongee for what you are about to see kwa kile unachoenda kuona your neighbor has never even thought of seeing it jirani yako hajawahi kuwaza atakukiona so so your man of god kwa wa mungu he is loaded alone there amejawa sana kule you are now wa- walking towards the door of your destiny you unatembea kuelekea mlango wa hatima yako there is a point kuna wakati when you have to do things on your own ambapo inabidi ufanye vitu peke yako a season comes when a door is placed in front of you majira yanakuja ambapo mlango unaikwa mbele yako if you shall enter ikiwa utaingia you will see all kind of spirits utaona aina zote za roho angels and demons malaika na mapepo fallen ones walio asi god the devil mungu shetani you will see michael rafael utamwona michael rafael they are in the realm wapo katika ulimwengu beyond the door from the physical to the spiritual nyuma ya huo mlango kutoka katika namna ya kimwili kwenda kwenye namna ya kiroho but the entering it is on you lakini kuingia ni juu yako that is when we tell you hapo ndipo tunakwambia be spiritual kuwa rohoni grow in the things of the spirit kuwa katika mambo ya rohoni and then you always wonder what is my man of god saying alafu unashangaa kwamba mtu wangu wa Mungu anaongea there is a day coming kuna siku inakuja i told you i told these guys of a, of a moment when the lord spoke to me and said david kuna wakati niliwaambia hawa ndugu kwamba kuna Mungu, mungu aliniambia david As a time is coming nyakati zinakuja when i begin to move nikianza kutembea in the spirit katika roho i want you to move along with me nataka utembee pamoja na mimi and he was still the lord was waiting for me to catch up bwana alikuwa anasubiria niweza god kufika. waited for me mungu alinisubiria before he begins to do his things for me to do my church christianity things ili mimi kufanya vitu vyangu vya kikristo kanisani but is wa kula mwili wa, wa, wa bwana lala madhabauni kesha kwa maombi those are your church things hivyo ni vitu vyako vya kanisani You are preparing something you are you are evil anybody can anybody everyone should do that yeyote anapaswa kufanya hivyo yani wewe kusali masaa saba, you should not move your stand up and say mimi nasali masaa saba, you should do it lazima ufanye Biblia nasema kesheni mkiomba kesha do you know how many hours kuanzia saa sita, uh, saa moja usiku mpaka saa moja asubuhi 12 hours wewe una panic masaa saba ya kuomba Bible nasema kesha the Bible say watch and pray So when you are doing that trust me God is it feels like God is not there it's true Ukiona fanya ni kama vile Mungu hayupo ni kweli He is waiting for you somewhere Anakusubiria mali fulani So she 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 is praying Kwa anaomba When she 
she's about to encounter God. Akikaribia kukutana na Mungu. You have reached by the door. Hapo ndipo umefika mlangoni. In the spirit. Katika roho. The Bible says knock. Biblia inasema bisha. And it shall be open unto you. Tafunguliwa. Seek. Tafuta. And you shall find. There is a mtaona. Bado hujafika kwenye point yako. Bisha. Knock. You have not reached to a point of knocking. There is a door. Kuna mlango that you need to knock. Amonetaji kubisha. And the Lord knows everybody's sound of knocking. Na Bwana anajua kila sauti ya kila anayebisha. When you kong 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 he knows this this is so. Anajua huyo huyu ni fulana fulana. Which angel is in charge of this one? Ni malaika gani ambaye yuko na huyu? Stand there and wait for your man. Simama pale umsubirie mtu wako. Many people ended up at the door. Watu wengi waliishia katika mlango. getting in is another issue kuingia ni jambo lingine many people they have they have they have they have hustled for this watu wengi wamepambana sana kwa juhudi kwa ajili ya hiyo they reach by the door walipofika mlangoni they forgot to knock wakasahau kubisha one seat god bless you they forgot what it, when you reach kwa mtu ukifika okay, nyumbani kwa mtu unaweza ukakaa mlangoni kumsubiria au kagonga You may stay by the door and wait or you can, you may not. Many people are waiting for the Lord. Watu wengi wanamngoja Bwana. I'm waiting for the timing of God. Ninasubiria muda wa Bwana. I'm waiting for the right time of God. Ninasubiria muda sahihi wa Bwana. I'm waiting for God. Ninamsubiria Bwana. Trust me he's waiting for you to knock. Niamini mimi anakusubiria ubishe. Because when you knock and enter. Maana ukibisha na kuingia. That which you shall see kile ambacho utakiona you will speak of it for the, the rest of your life utakiongelea maisha yako yote because there is when you are entering into the door of your destiny hapo ndipo unaingia katika mlango wa hatima yako that is when angels touch you by your hand hapo ndipo malaika wanakushika kwa mkono wako and say come and see wanakwambia njo na uone that which kile ambacho the lord has prepared for you amekiandaa kwa ajili yako and you wonder so what have i been doing all the rest of my life na unashangaa nimekuwa nikifanya nini maisha yangu yote? You have been preparing yourself for this. Ulikuwa unajiandaa kwa ajili hiyo. Preparation can take 60 years. Maandalizi yanaweza kuchukua miaka 60. For Moses it took 8 years. Kwa Musa ilichukua miaka 80. 40 years in Egypt. Miaka 40 means 40 years in Miaka 40 Midian. Midian. For Jesus it took 30 years. Kwa Yesu ilichukua miaka 30. For Prophet David Richard it took some 20 something years. Kwa Prophet David Richard ilichukua miaka 20 kitu. Lift up your hand. Yenu mko nako juu. I have not even spoken of angels. We are nilikuwa tunakupa a small foundation. On Thursday, Alamisi, we start by the door. Tunaanzia mlangoni. This world, dunia hii, ina maajabu mengi sana. Has a lot of wonders. More than what you can imagine. Zaidi ya kile ambacho unaweza kufikiri. That is why God huwa anashangaa mwanadamu akiwa na kiburi. That's why God wonders when a man is prayed. Do you know what God asked Job? Mungu alimuuliza nini ya Yuki? He said, do you know what makes earth? Hivi unajua kinachofanya dunia to, 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 to be what it is. Kuwa kile ambacho ilikuwa. Do you know what is holding earth, the yeah. foundations of earth? Yeah, unajua misingi ya dunia. What is making dunia. earth to float? Inafanya dunia iweze kuelea. He asked Job, do, do you know how I created earth? Alimuuliza Yuki, unajua ni jinsi gani nimeumba dunia? Ulikuwepo? Job said no. Ayubu akasema pana. Said, Do you know how I created the great beast Leviathan? Akamwambia unajua ni jinsi gani nilimuumba Leviathan? God is asking uh, uh, Job on the creation of a monster not an angel. Mungu anamuliza Ayubu juu ya uumbaji. Do you know? Hivyo unajua jinsi gani? I created Leviathan. Nilivomuumba Leviathan. 
creature that is bigger than the continent of Africa. Kiumbe ambacho ni kikubwa zaidi ya bara la Afrika. And God is asking, do you know? Afu Mungu anamuuliza. Unajua nilivyomuumba? Job said no. Ayubu akasema pana. Said no why why are you talking nonsense? Akamwambia sasa mbona unaongea ujinga? We 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 are children of the creator of the universe. Sisi ni watoto wa mumbaji wa ulimwengu. And there is many things that we have not experienced in our God. Na bado kuna vitu vingi ambavyo hatuja experience katika Mungu wetu. Mimi subiri mpaka nife nikaje. I am not waiting waiting until I die that I may see them. I want to see God. Nataka nimuone Mungu. I want to touch God. Nataka nimshike Mungu. I want to walk with him. I want to experience God. Nataka kumexperience Mungu. I want to understand. Nataka kumuelewa. The spirit world. Ulimwengu wa roho. Ulokole ni mzuri lakini unaboa. Ngeke jirani yako ambaye ulokole ni mzuri lakini una unachosha. Ulokole ni mzuri lakini unachosha. Unafika mahali unachosha. There comes a time it is tiresome. It is no it is unachoka. You are getting tired. Imebaki tu kuomba na kufunga basi. For the rest of your life. Maisha yako yote imebaki kufunga na kuomba. Omba funga, omba funga, omba funga, You get bored, you get tired. Unachoka. There is no excitement in it. Hakuna tena kitu kinachofurahisha ndani yake. But when you have the revelation, lakini ukiwa na ufunuo, excitement begins. Furaha inaanza tena. A new journey with the Lord begins. Safari mpya na Bwana inaanza. If God opened your eyes to see the the spirits that are around you, you would say from today I surrender. Kama Mungu akifungua sing that song and say from today I've surrendered. Utaimba hiyo nyimbo na utasema kwanza leo na surrender. You think you have surrendered to the, to the Lord. Unadhani umejisalimisha kwa Bwana? You have You see there is you know young young me before everything that I started experiencing I knew I, I love God. Kabla sijaanza ku experience vitu vyote hivi ndijua nampenda Mungu. I believed in God. Nilimwamini Mungu. There is this You know come on come on Christo you you want God you love God but when I I was exposed to the spirit world nilipofunuliwa katika ulimwengu wa roho you 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 don't believe in God anymore au muamini Mungu tena you know unajua si nimeleweka oh yes believing in God is good kumuamini Mungu ni vyema even even a muslim believes in God hata muislamu anamuamini Mungu sasa kwamba yuko Mwenyezi Mungu aliyeziumba mbingu na nchi Subhana Taala But the knowledge of God lakini maarifa ya Mungu that is what is lacking in this generation ndicho kinachokosekana katika kizazi knowing God kumjua Mungu not believing no no knowing sio kumwamini kumjua The day you see a, 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 the day you, 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 you sit on a shoulder of an angel siko ambayo utakaa kwenye bega la malaika you 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 you, you, you i'm sure you will become mad obviously na hakika uta, utadatha lazima utakuja hapo na sabuni kichwani utatufuletea fujo mdani mimi na kwambia mimi na kwambia you will disturb us utatusumbua hmm? umetoka kwenye kumkalia malaika you know hata hautataka kukaa huh? nguo ile hautofua trust me and you feel like oh let me say an angel visits your room au nisema malaika atembele nyumbani kwako they come with this aroma with this smell with this fragrance wanakuja na hii harufu nzuri of the glory of god ya utukufu when they leave that that fragrance can stay for hours wakiondoka hiyo harufu nzuri inaweza kukaa kwa masaka. It's funny that you are the only one who is smelling it. Na ni ajabu kwamba peke yake. Don't you smell some people what you're talking about? 
Ameanza ku, ku, kuna vitu vinaendelea in this one. Ana atakuwa na minyoo. Unajua usiku kuna minyoo anapanda kichwani. Hii itakuwa minyoo hii imeanza ku. <laughs> Mtu atakuuliza mara ya mwisho mkunywa dawa minyoo ni lini? Eh. What is it? Nikitu gani? Ah, tu tango mbaya tu ni kipita tu anadaka kuanguka. If the angel visits you, you know takuva. Eh? Hey. So, so there is a day. Ko kuna siku. That you will be visited, and that I know. Na yoni na jua. Heaven shall visit your life. When that day comes Hiyo siku itakapokuja When that day comes Hiyo siku itakapokuja It depends on a lot of things Mungu anaviangalia Inategemea na vitu vingi that God Maombi ni mazuri kufunga ni vizuri Even those things don't qualify ku 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 visited by heaven if Ile. it was that all of you will have visitations ingekuwa ni hivyo wote mngepata kutembelewa there are other factors that god has to consider kuna vigezo vingine ambavyo mungu huwa anaviangalia ukaweuka so that you may not be mad should you cover that you don't die there shall be no man of god to pray for resurrection there Akutakuwa uh, na mtu wa Mungu kuomba kwa ajili ya ufufuo wako. Ufufuo, yeah, you are dead, you are gone. Unakufa umeenda. You saw an angel and you died. Ulimwona malaika ukafa. The cause of death an angelic visitation. <laughs> Imagine you go in heaven. Next, cause of death Gabriel visited my life. <laughs> the angel will wonder. So you died. Kama laika tashanga koli kufa. Just slap you what? No no no. He, he, I just saw him and I died. He said now we are you are entering heaven now. Are you ready to see what is about? <laughs> or you will die the second death. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So 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 I just want I'm preparing a, you. Ninakuanda. This is what I I feel in my spirit. Ndicho ninachosikia ndani ya roho yangu. That I'm preparing you for something that it, it, you will be the first utakuwa kwanza i receive do you believe unaamini you shall be the first utakuwa kwanza you are going to be i feel it in my spirit that i'm preparing somebody i don't know kama ninamwanda mtu sijui yes a person mtu among my father's sons and daughters many have seen angelic visitations and stuff kati ya watoto wa babangu mabinti na watoto wa kiume pia kwa babangu wengi wa many have experienced the angelic and the supernatural wengi wa experience tembo malaika from our father kutoka baba yetu prophet ed prophet ed but I, i don't stand on behalf of anybody i Lakini stand on behalf of kwa niaba ya mwingine yote and i say i have experienced the supernatural na na naweza kusema kwamba nime experience ulimwengu wa machafu ulimwengu wa roho mimi nime experience i've experienced the relevant first hand sio uh, uh, kupitia maono ya mtu no, no. my own not at a maono my own experience i call them experiences because some of them were out of body experiences in that experience kwa sababu nyingi zake ni zile ambazo unakuwa na uzoefu wa roho nje ya mwili unatoka katika mwili you are coming out of the body and god is careful because na mungu yuko makini sana kwa sababu ni kitu fulani ambacho kitahitaji hekima sana kuelesha watu you know when when john the baptist came leona mbatizaji alivyokuja he came with something new alikuja na kitu kipya and he was wearing uh, animal clothes alikuwa anavaa mavazi ya ngozi ya mnyama and he was eating honey na alikuwa anakula asali na nzige and he would shout in the streets na alikuwa anapiga repent kelele. repent tubu for tubu. the kingdom of god has come maana ufalme wa mungu umekuja you generation of vipers enye kizazi cha nyoka every day kila siku people said mwe huyu vipi huyu anajita nabii 
the word went to Herod. Herod asked, he calls himself what? Nabi. Nabi. Oh, you're a prophet. Let me let you know you're Nabi. <laughs> so, John the Baptist came with a strange gospel. Yohana Mbatizaji alikuja na injili ya jabu. And people are not ready for it. Na watu alikuwa hako tayari kwa jili yake. That is why even me, squeeze wa kajili ya watu hengi, nilitu wa kajili yako. Because this is not just a gospel Mana hi isyo injili to excite you ya kufraisha but it is entering into a realm lakini ni kuingia katika ulimwengu au janelewa we are not just preaching a gospel atubiri tu injili we are ushering people into a dimension tunawengiza watu katika kiwango we are forcing a reaction tunasababisha kutokea kitu na namshukuru Mungu hata katika yetu sio kwa ajili ya kila mtu. And I thank God even in your midst is not for everyone. Ikiwa kila kwa, kwa kila mtu nilikwambia itazoeleka itachukuliwa ya, ya kawaida. Oh yes. If everyone is seeing everyone is experiencing it itakuwa ita kawaida it won't have an excitement. Kama I pray kwamba Mungu akatuchuje. Oh yes. May God filter you. Bwana akawachuje. Na katikati ya kundi kubwa ukawe peke yako katika jina la Yesu. I receive. Lift up your hands. Ino miko na And say Jesus, I am ready to encounter you. Na useme Yesu niko tayari kukutana kiungu na wewe. I want us to begin to pray now. Ninataka tuanze kuomba viewers all over the world. Begin to pray. Viewers all over the world. Viewers all over the world begin to pray. Unaweza kupiga magoti, unaweza kusimama, unaweza kutembea. I want you to just for for five minutes to enter There is a door waiting for you. Kuna mlango unakusubiria. There is a door waiting for you. Kuna mlango unakusubiria. You need to knock. Unahitaji kubisha. You need to knock. Unahitaji kubisha. God is preparing you. Bwana anakuandaa. God has been preparing you. Mungu amekuwa akikuandaa. God is doing final preparations for you. Mungu anafanya maandalizi ya mwisho kwa ajili yako. You are about to encounter unakaribia kukutana kiungu because july is the month of encounters kwa sababu mwezi wa saba ni mwezi wa kukutana kiungu roshka bala deleba fela kosa lida make sure you're praying bela kanto salida pande ni mushadia rako pande ni bo jesus i am ready i am ready i am ready jesus i am ready Jesus I am ready. My spirit is ready. My hunger is ready. My thirst is ready for you Jesus. Ready to encounter you. Mwambie Bwana nimegundua umekuwa ukinianda. Tell him that I realize you have been preparing me. Kumbe wakati wote umekuwa ukinianda. All this time you have been preparing me. Kwa maana yale mambo ambayo unaenda kuyaona for the things that i'm going to see ni mambo ya ajabu ambayo mwanadamu hajawahi kuyaona these are supernatural things that human beings have never seen ni mambo ambayo akili ya mwanadamu haiwezi kuelewa these are the things that the mind of human cannot understand le command ni masu veledi ongea na bwana ongea na bwana ongea na bwana ongea na bwana speak to the lord speak to him speak to him Make sure your prayer speak to him. Tunadaka tunadaka tatu za kuomba pray. We only have three minutes to pray omba. Because of time pray. Kwa sababu ya muda omba. Ngangania hapo 1 minute mbona. Stick there and pray.
We are ready to encounter you, Jesus. Jesus, the King of kings, worship you. We worship you, Lord. Jesus the King of Jesus the King of Minister, read for me verse 13. Joel chapter number 2, verse 13. As we continue in prayer, we are going to pray for the next two minutes again after the scripture. And we, 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 we do our giving, then we, we go. We have three days of, this is a three day series. In a series as Kutatu. On Thursday, I'm going to talk about Fanuel. Yes, Fanuel. I'll talk of him. Don't worry. On Sunday, we have a uh, Sunday of angelic network. Mtandao. 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 Kipepo. Sasa kuna mtandao wa malaika. That will be a blessing upon your life. Read for me Joel chapter number 2 verse 10. Joel mlango wa pili mstari wa 30. Chapter number 30, yes, sorry. Chapter number 30. Nami nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu katika. Naomba nisikilize kanisa. Naomba tu tu naomba tusimame if you can. Can you stand? Wamekaa kwa wale ambao wamekaa. Kuna mtu amekaa kabisa vizuri tu ana hata Biblia. Naomba uchungulie Biblia jirani yako. Chungulia Biblia jirani yako. Chungulia Biblia jirani yako, chungulia Biblia ya jirani yako. Aha, minister naomba tusome wote kama kanisa. Nami nami, nami nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu katika mbingu na katika dunia. Aha. Damu na moto na, moto, na minara na ya moshi. Naomba turudie tena. Nami nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu katika mbingu na katika dunia. Damu na moshi na minara ya moshi. I want you to speak it like you mean it. Ninataka utamke kama una, kama unamaanisha. Moja, mbili, tatu. Nami nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu katika mbingu na katika dunia. Aha. Damu na moto na minara ya moshi. Damu. Imagine God is, will show you blood. Mungu atakuonyesha damu. That is how deep He's, he's willing to take you into the realm of the spirit. To show you blood. What is his blood? Did he say his blood? Did he say the blood of your enemies? Blood of animals? I don't know and I don't know. But whatever encounter, they, you will go deep to a level of blood. Sijui na sijui. Ila encounter hii utenda kina kiwango cha damu. God is willing to show a Christian blood mungu iko tayari kumuonyesha mkristo damu and i shall sh show mighty and great things na nitaonyesha mambo ya ajabu mambo makuu na ya ajabu in the heavens katika mbingu on earth na katika dunia blood damu, fire 
motto and pillars of smoke na nguzo za moshi minara ya moshi pillars of smoke what is telling you there anakuambia nini hapo those are dimensions of encounters hivyo ni viwango vya encounter you will see the heavenly encounters utaona encounters za kimbingu earthly encounters za hapa duniani blood encounters encounters at dam are you are you getting what i'm saying unaelewa na chikisema fire encounters encounters za moto smoke encounters encounters za moshi ni ni, ni inasononesha kwamba hayo yote aliyotajwa hapo ha, hata uelewi kinachoongelea it is so sad that everything that is being mentioned there you do not understand what is being spoken kama hata ufahamu kwamba Mungu yuko radhi kukuonyesha hivi vitu vyote utavionaje even if you don't know that god is ready to show all you these things how will you see them lakini kwa sababu umesoma but because you have read na umeamini and you have believed naomba muombe bwana umeahidi can you tell him that you promised that can be that can be minutes My church is not praying. Kanisa langu waliombi. My church is not ready. Kanisa langu walipo tayari. My church wants material things. Kanisa langu linataka vitu vinavyoshikika vya kawaida. Does not want spiritual things. Halitaki vitu vya rohoni. But I tell you life is spiritual. Lakini nadhani kwamba kwa maisha ni ya rohoni. Everything begins in the spirit. Kila kitu kinaanzia rohoni. Before you see manifestations physically. Kabla hujaanza kuona udhihirisho katika namna ya kimwili. I want you to pray. Ninataka uombe. Mwambie Bwana uliniahidi. You promised me. According to the book of John. Sawa sawa na kitabu cha nabii Yoeli. Chapter number 2 verse 30 mlango wa pili mstari wa 30 you show me heaven kama utanionyesha mbingu you show me earth utanionyesha dunia you show me blood and smoke utanionyesha damu na moto you show me fire utanionyesha moto it is not my words it is the bible si maneno yangu ni biblia don't doubt the bible now parakas kuva parade inklados intaske ve inklados belli cross bala ankle hidaros bela ankle hidavanta la husha adle madila bros compra ankle hidava Father I know there is a door waiting for me Baba ninajua kuna mlango unanisubiri There is a door that is waiting for me Kuna mlango unanisubiri To enter ili ningie Mescopa de inclabaresco vale Malabasete zehele bosha For the sake of my ministry show me great and mighty things For the sake of my destiny show me great and mighty things I long and I desire for the supernatural That should be a prayer This generation needs to experience God The God the supernatural God tunadaka moja tunadaka moja one more minute one more minute one just one more minute the holy spirit is touching people now the holy spirit is touching you kuna mtu ametambua kitu somebody has realized that they have been playing with their salvation kuna mtu ametambua kwamba alikuwa anachezea wokovu wake somebody is becoming more serious after tonight the holy spirit is at work the holy spirit is at work mrusoro wa mungu 
Spirit of Jesus, you have allowed me to hear this for a purpose and a reason. Viewers all over the world, I want you to connect in prayer. As God is doing it here, He's doing it there. Do not leave the broadcast, I want you to pray. Wherever you are watching us from, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Pray. Speak to him. Pray. 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 Are you in Kenya? Are you in the US? Pray. Distance is not a barrier. Tonight, the Lord is ushering you to the door of the supernatural. Mungu yuko tayari kukuingiza kwenye lango la ulimwengu wa roho. I'm trading in the book of joy. Fire, blood, smoke, earth and heaven shall be revealed unto us. Tunada sekunde 30 30 seconds of prayer. Press deeper, press deeper. Go deeper, just a little bit deeper. Barush kava angle hidavaha. Emprada basco prene inclahadila brandos. Je ele brandele hisa aclahados. Mandiga baracos cavala adeleba. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit of God. Marogo bosiaka. Bala baraca dele bosch. Shateteva. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you wherever you are. Lift up your hands. And lift up your faith. Those that are here and those that are watching us all across the world. Your faith is needed at this moment. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. If I had not experienced or I am not experiencing this, I would say it is not real. Kama sija experience vitu hivi au kama ni bivi experience ningesema sio halisi. If I have not if I had not had the insight of these things, I wouldn't believe either. Kama nisingelikuwa nina ufahamu wa vitu hivi, nisingeliamini mimi mwenyewe. But because I have seen Lakini kwa sababu nimeona and I am a witness to these people concerning the supernatural Na mimi ni shahidi kwa hao watu juu ya ulimwengu wa majabu. That Lord you are a supernatural God. Kwamba wewe ni Mungu wa majabu. And I stand on this altar as a witness. Ninasimama kama kwenye hii madhabahu kama shahidi. One that has witnessed these things. Yeye ambaye ameshuhudia mambo haya. Then I pray for your children now. Ninaombea watoto wako sasa. I pray for your children. Ninaombea watoto wako. Lord you know Bwana unajua each and every one of them kila mmoja wao my prayer tonight maombi yangu usiku leo let them catch the revelation wakakamate ufunuo and let the revelation take them to the dimension na ufunuo uwapeleke katika viwango i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus ninakuombea katika jina la yesu you see there is a list a book actually kuna kitabu kimsingi that has a list ambo ina orodha of names ya majina in heaven mbinguni of people ya watu that are supposed to encounter these things ambao wanatakiwa ku encounter vitu hivi may favor locate your life kibali kikangukie maisha yako and may the angel of the lord write your name on that book na malaika wa bwana akaandike jina lako kwenye kitabu hiko nimeongea kitu ambacho kiko very very deep but i, I don't have know spoken something that is too deep lakini sidhani if you understood me. but that there is a book lakini kuna kitabu of names chama jina of people that are destined to encounter god ya watu ambao wamekiwa hatima ya kukutana na mungu i don't want you to just live like a normal christian sitaki uishi tu kama mkristo wa kawaida like your uncle your auntie kama mjomba wako kama shangazi yako there must be a difference lazima kuwe na tofauti of you and them 
yako wewe na wao I pray for the favor of the Lord Ninaomba kwa ajili ya kibali cha Bwana Let your name find favor in the eyes of the Lord Majina yako yakapata kibali machoni pa Bwana And may God usher an angel to write your name into that book I Mungu akapeleke malaika akaandike jina lako kwenye kitabu kile The kile. book of encounters Kitabu cha encounters One minute pray Kwa dakika moja omba. Lord favor my name Bwana lipe kibali jina langu before your eyes mbele ya macho yako before you mbele ya macho yako it is a prayer of humbleness ni ombi la kinyenyekevu where you ask god ambapo unamwomba mungu to allow you to enter in something maybe you are not part of aruhusu uingie kwenye kitu ambacho pengine haukuwa sehemu ya hiyo kitu but because he is a merciful god lakini kwa sababu ni mungu mwenye huruma a loving father Baba mwenye upendo It is very possible ni muhi, inawezekana sana that you may enter into the book of encounters and revelations kwamba kaingie katika kitabu cha encounter na mafunuo desire desire the key is to desire If you're satisfied ni sawa. Kuhubiri kama muhubiri haitoshi. Kama umeridhika it is fine. Preaching as a preacher is not enough. Kuwa protocol wa prophet it is fine kama umeridhika. To be a prophet's protocol it is fine. But if you're satisfied. you can desire for deeper. Lakini unaweza kuwa na shauku ya kwa kina. To be a church member is fine kwa mshirika wa kanisa ni sawa but there is a promise in the bible lakini kuna hadi katika biblia of seeing ya kuona
mikono yako kwake you are worthy of my praise jesus jesus oh, you are worthy of my praise oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. you are worthy of my praise In the name of the of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. The book of Revelation. One minute minister. Please don't take your seat. Can you rise? As we are winding. Please don't sit. Please don't sit. I want us to. Read for me the book of Revelation chapter number 5 verse 6. Kitabu cha funuo mlango wa 5 mstari wa 6. I say Jesus you are worthy of my praise. Oh. You see men you don't understand. Awelewi. Let me give you something that he just whispered in my ears. Revelation chapter number 5 verse 6 Then I saw a lamb That looks like he's slain And he is standing by the throne And he is surrounded by the four beings And the elders he had seven horns and seven eyes Anazo pembe saba na macho saba, which are the spirit of God ambazo ni roho za Mungu. that are poured onto the earth. Zilizo miminwa katika dunia. That is the God you serve. Uyo ndo Mungu I want us to worship him for one minute. Ni tatu mabundu kwa dakika moja. You can do better than that. Unaweza kufanya vyema zaidi ya hii. Mungu wako anastahili kuabudiwa. Your God is worthy to be worshipped. <laughs>
Jesus. Vebra akumpre edila branta ligadia bonge. Nataka nisikie mtu analiadhimisha jina la Bwana. Na maneno yako mwenye, kwa maneno yako dakika moja, one minute tunamaliza. This is the most important moment of the night. Baada ya kuongelea malaika, baada ya kuongelea encounters, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Akamuona mwana kondo katika enzi. Akamuona mwana kondo katika enzi. Akamuona mwana kondo. The mighty shepherd. Chungaji mkuu. Enzi imesujudu mbele zake. Father, we bless you. We give you glory and praise, Jesus. We love you. As angels of God ministries, we say that we love you. Kama angels of God ministries, tunasema tunakupenda. David asked, Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Usinondole roho wako mtakatifu. David prayed a prayer. Daudi aliomba ombi. In the book of Psalms 51. Kwenye kitabu cha Zaburi ya 51. And he said take not thy holy spirit away. Akasema usinyondolee roho yako mtakatifu. I pray tonight. Ninaomba siku leo. That the spirit of the Lord may dwell with you forever. Kwa roho wa Bwana akakae nanyi hata milele. Let his wisdom fill your heart. Na kima yake ikajaze moyo wako. And may angels assist you. Na malaika wakakusaidie. Surround you. Wakuzingire. Defend you wakutete and lead you na kuongoza in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu God bless you minister yes baba how can we give those that are watching us all over the world God bless you wale ambao mnatutazama ulimwenguni kote Mungu akubariki kora basai so viewers all over the world while still we are in the presence of the father It's a moment where we are going to bless our God and bless the ministry. So wherever you're watching me from, this is how you can do your giving. For the people who are outside the boundaries of Tanzania, uh, you can use MoneyGram, you can use RIA, and if you have access to World Remit, then you can do direct transfers to the numbers that are right there. This is plus 255758 012068 you can do your seeding for the word of god the revelation that we have received your tithing your partnership your special seed you can do it right away right now so may god bless you kwa wewe ambaye upo katika mipaka Tanzania Mungu akubariki sana ni wakati wa kumtolea Bwana ile mbegu yako kwa ajili ya jambo nalo muamini Mungu mbegu kwa ajili ya ufunuo neno la Mungu sadaka yako uh, matoleo yako mengine pamoja na fungu la kumi na partnership yako unaweza kaituma kwa namba iliyoko kwenye screen yako 0758012068 na ukiwa unafanya hivyo Mungu akubariki Thank you Holy Spirit So for those who are here you can get your seat you can get your giving your partnership as we are going to bless our heavenly Father Those who are in the Holy Ghost you can just leave them wewe ambaye umenisikia unaweza kusimama Ashes please can you look where the vessels are Naomba tuwasaidie watu unaweza kusimama na sadaka yako tuje tumtolee Bwana You say You say has come to worship you Come to worship you. Come to worship 
We are behind time, so please, can you? Special seat. Can you run quick? Has come. Yeah, me. After tithing, lift up your hands. Those are tithing. God bless you. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord bless you. Those that are tithing online. And those that are here. May the angels of mercy, prosperity, and grace walk with you. Malaika, Warehema, Mafanikio, Nanema, Watemena, Wewe. I pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You can give. Well, partnership for Safari. For those who partners are for the Are you here? Do we have people that to know what to partner with Jilia Safari and Nairobi? If you're here, lift up hands. Come up and we can go. Run quickly. Come, come, come and give. Imanu Msaki. Okay. Run, 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 run. Partners, wale ambao wanataka ku wana contribute kwa jili ya uh, safari ya, ya Nairobi, Kenya. And those that are watching us, if you want to be a partner, you can help us by partnering uh, with the vision of the Lord. Unaweza kwa tusaidia kwa kupartner pamoja na mauna ya mungu. Wewe unaya nitazama, wherever you are watching me from, it is possible for you to be a part. Prophet, how can I connect to you? How can I connect to the work of God? by partnership. Ah, uh, mbona nitazama unasema nabii wa Bwana ninawezaje nikawa uh, ninashiriki pamoja nawe pamoja na huduma ni kwa kuwa partner. We are opening a ministry in a foreign land. Tunafungua huduma katika uh, nchi ya ugeni. You can be a monthly weekly partner. Unaweza kuwa partner wa kila wiki, wa kila mwezi. The gospel is free. Injili ni bure. But me traveling every week to Nairobi is not free. Lakini mimi kusafiri kila wiki kwenda Nairobi sio bure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can be a partner and support the work of God. Kwa unaweza kuwa partner na kusupport kazi ya Mungu. Nimeona mkono if you are here run. Kama uko hapa kimbia. Come please. Just come you have your partnership. Come. Ah uh, una partnership Just yako kimbia kwa raha. Say the man you raise. Give that one. Compel you. and stand here. I pray for you. Pray for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to declare grace. She's a very beautiful And child. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that the Lord may walk with this child for the rest of her life. Let her be a blessing to you and the family. And be the star of the family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Viewers all over the world. 
Watazamaji ulimwenguni kote. I believe you have been blessed. Ninaamini umebarikiwa. Please join us again on 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 Thursday and Sunday. Tafadhali ungana na sisi Alhamisi na Jumapili. From around 4 p.m. Kuanzia saa 10 jioni. We are live. Tunakuwa live. But I want to make a short announcement to Nadarasa we have a class to Nadarasa this Friday Ijumahi and Saturday na Jumamosi yes yes my angel malaika wangu yes yes okay so join the class kwa hiyo kiunge kwenye Nadarasa this what we are speaking is for the public ni kwa ajili ya watu wote what we we'll speak of in the class lakini tutakachoongelea katika darasa is for the chosen ni kwa ajili ya wale waliochaguliwa many are called few are chosen wengi wameitwa wachache wamechaguliwa so are you the chosen one or the called one je wewe ni yule ambaye ameitwa au ni yule aliyechaguliwa tutajue jumaa hallelujah hallelujah so do your registration we have a class where we are dealing with angels it's a, an angelic class very prophetic very angelic and it's a blessing if you can do your registration call that whatsapp number and register and uh, we are opening up the altar now tunafungua madabao sasa nina kuruhusu you can go home but for those who still want to pray lakini kwa wale ambao wanataka kuomba unaweza kuomba the rest god bless you wengine wote mungu akubariki do not miss shalom mungu akubariki don't miss thursday service uskose ibada ya alhamis can we continue being live tunaweza kuendelea kuwa live for those that want to pray kwa wale ambao wanataka kuomba i want prophet brighton come and pray nataka uh, prophet Priska, brighton where are you come and pray jo wombe where are you Ukwake. come and pray pray jo wombe i want people to pray those yes. that they are they are those you know that god wants them to aim. where come and pray wale ambao wana haraka you can go home tumewaruhusu but those that want to pray come and pray wale wanaotaka kuomba nje uombe lakini kama una haraka unaweza kwenda nyumbani yes if you are home is far you are allowed to go home child of god kama nyumbani kwenu ni mbali unaruhusiwa kwenda nyumbani the service is over but the power of god on the altar is not over no other god can be called redeemer mtu mmoja msaidie mama yangu she is looking for something somebody help my mother Give me a gimme no other god ko prada baska vahade male brasko vahalade no other god magoti kaomba ila usikalie kiti cha prophet kiti cha prophet may you not sit on the chair of our father please
Your friend. 